Hello everybody, Aubrey here, and uh, with everything going on in the world right now, we wanted to give a, some possible content warnings for people going into the last two episodes of our season. Um, they include themes of uh, violence, invasion, and some player character death, um, along with some themes of terrorism and things like that. Uh, we just want to let people know so they can be emotionally prepared as they go into these episodes. Uh, and yeah. I hope you do enjoy the episodes, and we will see you all next time. Thank you. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Goblets and Gays. This is the season two finale. It is. It was an emotional time last week, and it's going to be an emotional time tonight as uh, the gang figures out what's going on and maybe tries to get out of the city. So I am Aubrey. I am your GM. I use she, her pronouns. Uh, I will turn over to my players in just a moment to introduce themselves and who they are playing. Uh, we, it's going to be a very packed night tonight, so we are definitely going to be rolling into things after that and we'll have our recap and figure out what is uh going on so yes uh let's just start it right off with uh aki hello i'm aki i go by she her pronouns and i will be playing astrea of soli who also goes by she her pronouns and she is a young cursed hot bard runaway who is also a double princess and, and uh, apparently according to trula's Car, it's gonna be leading into financial ruin. I I can't fucking wait. I wonder. Oh, how. All, of, all of those really bad investments you made are just back. Yeah, the you party. <laughs> yeah, Stop. Uh, yeah, and if people want, uh, Trula did pull cards uh, for everybody. If you want to say what yours is, feel free. Uh, uh, okay. Well, mm. they would it actually. I got like the five of pentacles mm. and. Every Everything was like yeah, financial ruin, poverty, uh, just a bad time. Yep. Uh, Everyone's pulled up if you need a reminder. Yep. Uh, Jamisa, you're next door, Ferris. Yeah. Hello, oh, I'm here. Ferris. I use her, she, her, and I am playing Jamisa, who also she, her. We have a barbarian. Um, and uh, I forgot her name. Rula. I'm sorry. I'm very tired. I am going off a of very complicated sleep schedule. Um, You're fine, Derek. Drew the hermit for Dumisa, so there's some introspection and soul searching and loneliness on Dumisa's. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my. Uh, Sparlock next. Um, hello, I'm Sparlock. I use he him pronouns, and I'm playing Groon, our lovely flame oracle and killer of paladins with a single word, um, and healer, of course, and who uses she her pronouns. And apparently Groon got the lovers, which is interesting um, as a asexual goblin. Um, but I guess there's some balance or uniting her way. Will Groon actually be the glue that holds this entire party together? The survey says... Uh, Tick, you're up. Hello, everyone. I am Tick. I use he, she, they pronouns. And I am playing Mero, a monk born and raised in the underworld that uses they, them pronouns. And uh, they started out just having daddy issues, and they have they have a lot of issues. Um, I should probably change this tagline to um, monk born and raised in the underworld, now dead count one. Uh, and our wonderful Trula drew the card, um, the four of wands, which is union, celebration, promise, and community, apparently. So I'm a... Uh, I'm kind of curious to see how it's going to turn out after, you know, everything that happened last episode, which I will elaborate on in the recap. Uh, and we'll uh, wrap it up with Trula. Hi, I'm Trula. My pronouns are she, her. I play Ileana, our lovely Dustwalker witch, who may or may not be leaving a cult. We'll find out tonight. I um, mean, you definitely leave a cult when you're dead, so there's yeah. that. Yeah, uh, uh, who has also um, sparked her oracle curse, so yeah, that's going to be fun. Um, and so for her, I actually be moon card, which um, intuition, illusion, fear, and subconscious. So yeah, we're we're gonna be on a roller coaster tonight, y'all. We might have to have a mid season tarot check in. 
mid episode terror checking. Well, mid episode. Yeah. Mid episode, um, not mid season. You can cut that. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, one quick thing before we get to the recap, we are still doing the half of two e core rulebook giveaway. Please, uh, give us like review us on any of the sites that you do it. Take a screenshot, send it to us on Twitter, Instagram, or email, and you're entered to win a half hundred core rulebook. Uh, oh God! Yeah. Speaking of reviews, we got like the nicest little review for our mm. sister podcast, and yes. I just wanted to shout yes. that shit out because that was a good, that was that such was, a good three a.m. ego. I like cried inside. I was like, oh mm. my God, my heart! I, I saw that the first and thing when I woke jammer? up this morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like spell token, spell token, spell token, spell token, spell token. Spell token. So yeah, go check them out. Um, their review for Animom, it is fantastic, and they're amazing. And also, just go listen to Animom. By the time this is out, the season finale would have happened, and you can relive all those twists and turns. Again! <laughs> yeah. At least we didn't have to record both of these in the same weekend. I would have thrown hands. Yes, you would have. Um, Objectively, so. we recorded something worse on both of us. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, but yes, uh, Tick, so why don't you tell us <laughs> last time? So, can I can I just be the honorary recap first at this point because I'm doing it? Yeah, yeah no, do it. it. We love okay. a little drunk history. Thank you. So, so tell so, your death. Uh, <laughs> so, spoiler alert, that happened. Second spoiler alert, uh, we all kind of woke up, poked out of our bedroom doors, and there were a lot of people with glowing blue eyes, not glowing green eyes. Fortunately, they could not walk through walls to disappear or fly. They were not very unique, as you know. And, uh, you know, as glowing blue eye people are running around causing violent problems, we all kind of busted out of our rooms and started beating the shit out of them. Uh, a strain Ileana dealt with a stray archer. Um, Jamisa and Mero dealt with some alchemists. One of the alchemists actually turned into a furry and assaulted Ileana, and Ileana did not like that. Um, overall, it was a lot of combat. There was an anti-paladin, uh, the two alchemists. There was some sort of a fighter, I believe. Uh, no, there are three alchemists. There was a fuck ton of alchemists. So many alchemists, Aubrey. Uh, mm -hmm. So many potiony things. Uh, Aubrey kept cutting my movement speed at the beginning, too. That's a call out right there. <laughs> fuck you. Uh, so, overall, the battle was going pretty good. Like, we were kind of thinning out the ranks pretty well. And then Aubrey threw another barbarian at us, you know, just swinging a giant axe on, and we were like, oh no. Uh, and I was like, damn, I better go help deal with that. And Astray was like, why don't I cast haste on you because you're kind of low health and like drink a potion. And I'm like, yeah, sure, you know. Um, True of Stone Lightning. Uh, and everything was just going pretty well. We we're just taking out all these pretty powerful enemies. And then, and then every, Aubrey said, hey, uh, Tick, roll a fortitude save if you don't want to fail. And I was like, okay, I got a nat one because I used a hero point. And then I got a five, and I was like, Aubrey. Aubrey, what happened? And Aubrey was like, you're just dead. I'm like, fuck. So I died. <laughs> like, actually died. Yeah. Uh, it was, finally, all of the jokes that I made about not using my mic anymore and using my computer mic and Aubrey threatening me to murder me for it. They've all finally caught up to me. <laughs> so <laughs> I died for my crimes of being a furry on main. Um, but the entire party was like, hold on. They're dead. And decided to, uh, as, you know, power of friendship anime, just go ape shit us the enemies and just obliterate them. Uh, Ileana dropped a tree on the guy that, you know, destroyed my life. And was like, you have been avenged and dabbed. She didn't dab, but I dabbed. Uh, so after the battle, we all, everyone was kind of like, you know, all the ended. And uh, Dubis was like, fuck. Oh no. Except a lot more emotional. Everyone was kind of depressed. And Estrella was like, very serious. Like, we got not a thing. Um... So Demisa picked up Mero and we all kind of trotted off to the throne room and Kyrie was like, yeah, I can, I can revive them. Uh, Kyrie was also like, so we're all under attack and we're kind of barricaded in the throne. We also saw Kevin on the way there. Fucking Kevin. I just, I don't like, I don't like him. I don't want to see him again. And if we get the opportunity to shove him in a bush or shove him off like a bridge from a height that will definitely kill a man, I would love to do it. I would love to kill Eliana's Kevin. Eliana's already but decided she's dropping a tree on him. I think, I know Estrella has more hatred for Kevin than anything else in the world. So you I feel not, like- You do not understand. You do not. He will not or, live in season. That's all I'm saying. I don't care. I'll break character for this. <laughs> it's worth it. You'll break his character and you'll break his, you'll break character and his. Uh, so we did see Kevin. Apparently he's uh, doing little Kevin crimes as usual. Um, and we kind of, we learned that everything is under attack. Kyrie is barricading. We're all going to try to leave. While that was happening though, uh, Mero entered the Shadow Realm. By Shadow Realm, I mean the Boneyard, a place where so souls go before they go to the Underworld. And they were like, oh fuck, I died. I mean, yeah, yeah. And they kind of walked around a little bit like, this isn't, 
Dewan hasn't smited me. And uh, a shadowy figure with a hood came in, and I was like, oh, fuck. Is that Dewan? It wasn't Dewan. It was a Midas. It was Mother. And Mom was like, hi, you died. And I was like, unfortunately, yeah. And she was like, congratulations, you are being rescued. Please do not resist. And uh, well, Mera was like, wait, hold on, please don't do this. Uh, I might have transferred the remainder of her life to her wonderful baby, uh, citing the fact that um, if it was for them, they would do anything. And I'm just like, well, fuck you. Uh, thanks for that. So <laughs> uh, the equivalent of the congratulations, you are being saved. You have no choice meme. Uh, so Amidas is now fucking ghost dead. All of her hair is now white. She is um, very much a ghost at this point. And Mero is now alive. And Kerry's like, hold on. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Who the fuck did that? So now... This wonderful episode, after all of this happened, ended with a loud, very, 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 very dragon-like roar coming from outside the mountain along with a crash. So I feel like I know what's happening next 15 campaign, but I feel like there's going to be a dread. And yeah, that's where we ended. Um, thanks for coming to my discussion. Yeah. Um, also, thanks for I, to talk. I need to be right back. I have to go wrangle a cat. Yes. Isaac. It's always fucking like, oh my it's god. Always, it's always fucking Isaac, okay? We'll be like doing, we'll do anything, and Isaac will just be right out of Aubrey's meowing right into the mic somehow. <laughs> Isaac ASMR for 90. Meanwhile, I can't even get Catherine to hang out with us. Oh, also, I'm getting different bubble tea chips, so uh, I'm gonna try it, and you're gonna get my live reaction to trying this uh, chocolate mook, the bubble tea I usually get. All right, here's the live reaction while Aubrey's gone. Hey, I am back. Child has been wrangled. We'll it's pretty things. creamy. It's pretty creamy and pretty sweet. I will elaborate on me. Okay. So yes, we find ourselves back in the throne room. Uh, you watch as the guards and the servants and everybody keeping the doors barricaded, weapons improvised if they need to in hand. And Mero is alive. Externally, at least. Yep. And as all of this is going on, Serena comes over holding three rather large potion bottles filled with what looks like healing. And she hands them and just be like, this is all I have, but it should help you get back up on your feet. So who's the lowest health is my question. It's you. Oh, and Other me. than me. You and Doomy. Yeah. I took some damage. I don't know about anyone else, but I'm I'm relatively okay. I'm not I took like at 10 half. damage. I'm fine for now. All right. I will take one of the potions and just mm. chug it wordlessly. Yeah. Shot, shot, shot. Oh, shit. Um, roll 6d6 plus 6. Jeez, that's a lot of dice. Okay. Yep. Uh, because uh, stacked healing. So or essentially, six she, six. Just, yeah, she just, uh, double, cre- uh, she can essentially create double elixirs that last for either twice as long or heal for twice as long. I got 31 in total, so I'm up to 63. I'm still down two spell slots, it's, aren't I? 66 yep. plus what? 66 plus 6. Yeah. Woo, 29. Yes, uh, and Harvey looks around and is just like, we need to find Claude. We need to get everyone out of here before whatever that is breaks through the mountain. Can Claude get the whole city? We'll get as many as many people as we can out. Uh, Atalanta and the, as many of the guard that can have already started evacuating people down into the mines. The mines will lead out far away from here. Are we sure that they're not mines? I would hope not, but uh, the guards went down there first. So, Are there ways through the mountain? Yes, unless you want to go through the mountain itself. So is that the only ways to put them in? Yes. Those are the only ways someone could have... We can try to find... If they didn't come in, so I don't know what state club is in. Well, the best place to start is probably his laboratory, which is a floor or so up uh, from where you came from. Uh, then up we go. Can I, like, make sure, like, everyone in the party's good. Is, like, Kratos and Serena? Uh, Kratos and Serena. Uh, yeah, they're... Kratos is looking better. Uh, give me a moment. This is uh, for me. Uh-huh. Um, my dads are here, right? <laughs> yes. Your dads are there. I was um, like, I, I realized we never, I never asked the last, um, session. But, you know, I was kind of busy. Yeah. You know, at one point, uh, comes over. Puts your hand, puts his hand on your shoulder, Australia, and she just just got you back. I give him a nod. Yep. Does anyone have anything they want to do real quick before any spells or anything you want to cast or any trends you want to drink? Um, maybe. 
How many say we were given? Just the one? No, you were uh, given three, and then uh, two of them were used. Yep, so you have one, it essentially is a double lesser uh, elixir. There's also these other potions from last session, which I'll copy and paste. Um, I'll probably, I won't do it right now because it only lasts a minute, but I'll probably mm. activate my, my cloak when we get a little closer. Because that will give me a little speedy bonus. And Bravo's last. An amount of time. Yeah, I I think Groon who's a little uh a, a little liquid courage. Chug 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 chug. <laughs> she she's gonna chug that. Uh, is that it's a lesser potion mm. of Bravo's, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, Bravo's. Chug it. And oh. be like, uh, 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 let's do this. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. you're you're told essentially Claude's laboratory, the stairs straight down and the uh on your right or on your left i think i'm also gonna the yeah uh as you do it it's uh it doesn't taste great but you can definitely feel like your skin hardening slightly and you look over and you see like the sheen of scales a little bit along your arms becoming a furry (laughs) scaly technically a scaly technically Uh, a scaly but i don't want to say that yeah sounds worse but But yeah i'll once everyone's kind of ready, I'll just kind of like look mm. over to Kyrie and be like, oh, like if yeah. he's not the way they got in, then it means they must have gone and they have to evacuate there, is it? As much um, as it, honest, she goes, if we learn this now, it's already late. That's true. People are already evacuating through the map. All right, let's go check on. Okay, now here's, here's the thing. As we're going down this hallway, I do have the ability to make all of us invisible as long as you stay within 10 feet of me. Would you guys like that? That would be optimal, yeah. Hot. So I'm going to cast Invisibility Spear. Mm-hmm. Gonna make us all invisible uh, as we walk. But you have to stay 10 feet, like within 10 feet of me. It's a 10 foot area. And then- mm-hmm. cool. I will tell Mero to... I heard what a straight is said. Not because... Oh yeah, and for the audience's benefit, uh, as we're going... Grun will be get her so, curse down a little bit. Estrella is also technically refocusing. I only need to do it for ten minutes. I was probably just doing that while y'all were monologuing. Yep. Oh yeah, Aubrey, I died. Do I still have my focus points and everything? Yeah. Okay, good to know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the map is live. You can move. We should be walking through the halls. This is hard because we have to like keep our tokens near Estrella. Uh, well, technically, with. Like, as long, you gotta keep, like, uh, within, like, two spaces. So mm. that's how you know. Mm-hmm. So, like, where Ileana is currently on the map, I know viewers can't mm. see it, but this is just for our benefit. I think yeah. that's the maximum range you can leave me mm. while we're invisible. Mm-hmm. Which means we're yeah. forced to move as a group together. But we're invisible. Yeah. It's like the invisibility cloak from Larry Daughter! Yeah, well, Larry Daughter! Oh girl. my god! Let's go! Into the rooms, because it's two... We don't know exactly where, right? Oh, uh, this is the this is the floor that you just came from. Oh, that we just came. Fuck it, we're going straight then, I guess, right? Yeah, this, this straight. Uh, you are aware that over here is where you saw the revealer. Yep. No. As soon as I see somebody turn that way, I go no, no, it's going straight down. And Serena's tower was to the left. Yep. Yeah, right. Um, over there. And we don't need to go there, right? Because that no. just came out. Yeah. Um. <laughs> There's blood That's in whole, here. Put the whole lot of blood in there. <laughs> Are we going in there? It well, it's, seems it's, like a good bad sign. It's a, it's a room. It is not Claude's laboratory, uh, but oh. it definitely looks like uh, someone, uh, maybe a serp, was killed in here. Oh no! Hey, we can probably have like asked good directions, right? Like you yeah. go upstairs. It's the it third was... door on your left, right? Like yeah, right? yeah, like right there. I can't get in the door. Why is it so Unlock dark? It. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, and, uh, nope. Not in the room yet. Don't go in the room yet. We're not going in the room yet. I didn't see anything. Don't oh, worry. I, I did not see anything. Oh, no. He's hot! No, uh, so Mara, as... stop, stop, stop. You just died. Stop that. <laughs> no, that's out of character. So, as, as you open up the... It's already cracked slightly. You can hear what it seems to be almost a demonic speech coming from inside. Uh, you spot... Mara? Um... Hey, Mara. Yeah. Remember that uh, hot mage? The one that kidnapped me that I was literally two days ago. Like, I wonder what happened to him. Yes. Did, uh, did you yeah. add this in because of my comment, or did you have this beforehand? No, I'm I gonna kill you. <laughs> oh I had this beforehand. Uh, 
Yes, you see that mage from back in Cressa that was part of it. He has the glowing blue eyes, and he stands drawing a circle in blood on the floor. Next to him, there is a corpse that looks to be a halfling. Uh, and sort of placed around the room are these large humanoid-like creatures. It's a goat's head and are carrying a... Okay, wait. You are invisible, so they have not noticed you yet. Okay, corpse. You're so you're certain it's a corpse, right? It is not moving and it looks to have lost a lot of blood. And it's not breathing. Not breathing. Close the door, am I leaving? It wasn't Claude, right? It had a... It had its back to you. It had the same, like, hair as Claude. Uh, it was what you'd seen Claude wear, but you did not see the corpse's face. Yeah, um, we're not... If we he... don't have to go this way, we're not... And this is his lap, so... Yeah. Oh, this is Claude's lap. I see. Yeah. We should, uh... We're, we're gonna... Yeah, look... we're leaving. Oh. Uh, I have a question, actually. Can can we see each other or no? Yes. Yeah. You know. so. Okay. Yeah, you would know. I was like, can I sign to a stranger? Like, can 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 she see this? Can she sign? I'm pretty. Uh, and as as you're doing yeah. this, you sort of hear the clop 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 hooves as like one of these. Do you have the door still cracked? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, as like one of these comes to view and is like looking around. No, 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 I'm leaving. All right. If we have his body, can't he be resurrected by your mother? Are you saying that out loud? As we're in next a to whisper. an open, open door. And don't whisper! Don't talk! <laughs> Didn't you close the door? I heard someone say they closed the door. I, I, I guess. I don't know. Uh, somebody did say they closed the door, so. Yeah, just uh, getting real friendly. Mostly motioning. All snuggly. And, and mouthing the concept of, you know, queen. Mm. Bring back to life! You Come really, <laughs> that you really door. want to risk another one of us? We that means we need Claude. So I don't think we have a choice, Australia. I mean, the people are dead anyways. What is wrong with you? Go Seriously! In, go, in. go in, go ahead. Go in, I'm right behind you. To be honest, it's like Australia said, fuck it. Every man for themselves. I'm still Every man, wasting woman, my... child, and non-binary for themselves. I'm still wasting my spell slots on you. I don't know why you guys are getting your underwear in a bunch. Uh, and you can hear the sound of the hooves again, and it sounds right, uh, right behind. Them. It, it's you're gonna need to make a choice. It's either engage now or leave now, unless you yeah, get a chance of being discovered. We should I'm drop them to, into the hallway. I'm down to dip for now. Is this a group vote? Are we putting this to a group vote now? You can choose to do what you want, but if you, the minute you leave my sphere, you cannot return to it. That that that's how my spell works. And the minute someone inside the sphere does something hostile, the spell drops for all of us. So, do what you'd like. Who's Who wants to try to save Claude? Groon does. Not now. Then what else are we supposed to do? We head back, let Kyrie know what's going on. We learn about what this magic is, because it could be something beyond our control. If he Claude- might still be alive. Well, actually, no. Um, Start- Kyrie. Hey, with the little side, little glimpse that we did, mm-hmm. and I barely well trained. Is there uh-huh. any chance he's still alive? Give me a quick medicine check. We can't keep jabbering. We don't know what we're up. We need to back off for now. That is a thirty-six. Jesus Christ, Grim! With, <laughs> with the amount of blood floor and sort of how pale and unmoving the body was, of a chance that he is still alive. Okay. So it, in that case, uh, Grun will change tack and be like, yeah, he's definitely dead. Let's go before they see us. Or hear us, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Astrea. Um, and Astrea, you speak Infernal, right? Yeah, uh, it's a, he's performing sort of summoning ritual. Astrea, do you know what type of magic that is? Summoning. Do you know in, what they're summoning? It's Infernal, you guess. But I mean, we'll be well out of the way before it fizzes, right? Maybe. We've wasted enough time. So do you want to jump in? Or would you like to leave? Take our chances that we get out faster than they can. And like, as you pass this room again, you hear a giant... Uh, this room over here, you hear a giant crash uh, as if somebody tipped a book. It's just Maybe the demons will kill Kevin. Hopefully. 
So you head back down into the castle. And head... I, have a, I have a question. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Could I make maybe an arcana or a check on demons and specifically what attracts them? Yeah. Uh, give me a... It's actually going to be a religion check. It's the one skill I'm not trained. Really... Oh, the yeah. one thing you're not trained in. Yeah, the one fucking thing I'm <laughs> trained in. You know what? I didn't even need to. It's dirty 20. 30, 20? Um, yeah, like what? Like You're totally thinking of what attracts them? Yeah, what attracts them? Um, things that attract these. Um, demons are generally uh, drawn to um, suffering and just negative emotions. And it also just depends on the kind of... Some of them may be a little bit more greedy and maybe want to go from, like, riches and money. And some people want souls and other people just want chaos. Some of them want to fuck Aubrey. And that too. Uh, but you're uh, relatively sure it's not a succubus something. Damn it! Damn, I was like, wouldn't it be great if I just left something near where the revealer was? And just, you know, for the demons. And just left. That would have been fun. Anyways, let's just continue going down. Wait, you want to lead the demons there? Hold, hold off. Stay, stay. Grun will leave a sigil. <laughs> Thank you, Grun. We love and appreciate you, Grun. Okay, maybe, I guess maybe we're going we'll back go. down. So you make your way back down to, uh, and as you enter, no clawed in tow, Claudia, Kyria already knows. Yeah, she, Sorry. she nods and just goes. They're also summoning a, yep. Well, that's a bit of a problem, but honestly, it is, I don't know, we don't have a lot of time. Uh, and as, <laughs> as this happens again, there's another quake that shakes everything and anything that's like on a table or anything falls over several windows shatter and then another roar we need to get you out of this and we need to the mines mm -hmm. well then let's go i will take up the guard position so you, do you think disguising yourself would just be a waste of time that's right. stick together move back yes so as you exit the castle, you see fighting everywhere. The guards, they're holding up, holding their own as much as they can against these soldiers. And any of them are essentially laying down their lives for you all to get Kyria and the rest of the royal family out of there. Essentially, Theseus as well. Uh, Theseus has cast um, a couple of spells to help you all move faster. So you all have essentially the fleet step currently. So you're all moving a little bit faster as you're going through uh, and you just watch. And as essentially as soon as you get down to the second level the, where like the merchant's area is, there's another crash and just everything through the mountain. But this time the mountain cracks and you see sunlight for the first time in weeks. But unfortunately, okay. it is not greeted with a friendly sight. As this gigantic beast, lizard, gigantic lizard, you've never seen a dragon before. So you're not really sure you have words to describe. Anytime you've seen them has been a sketch or some sort of magical, uh, nothing has prepared you for this. And I need everybody to give me a quick will save as you come face to face with the dragon. This giant silver dragon, piercing eyes that seem to uh, look right through. How many hero points effect? do we have? Three. Okay, and is it a fear effect? Uh, yes, it is considered a fear effect. Tamisa, do you help us with that? I do! Yeah! Okay, what do we get? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta... <laughs> you get a plus one status bonus to saving throws against fear! Hey! Nice. Have uh... a close, kids! Oh, that's, that's actually the best roll, but it's like a 25 in total. Mm -hmm. I got a dirty 20. Yikes. Um, could I counter performance though? I could say yes. Oh, okay, I'm gonna do it then. That's gonna be a 32. Jesus. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Yo, motherfuckers are gonna want this. Uh, that's Please. a natural 20, so, um, what is that? 37, 38, plus so Give it to Groot! And it's, uh, no, it's a counter performance for everyone. Oh, so fuck. you can choose to take mine. Yes, I, I would suggest that everybody do that because um, you will be, you will all critically succeed. Mm -hmm. Hey, and it's, a, it's, a, it's a, 
it's a 60 foot emanation by the way so everyone that's an ally this including yes. npcs and stuff and it will uh render you immune for one minute so you will have to make the checks again later but for so now you're okay hmm? so is that a plus or automatic you get what Australia rolled. Yeah, we get yeah. what she rolled. Technically, That's it's your choice. Find. Technically, it's your choice, but you might as well take my choice. It, it, I know yeah, I want it. the nat 20, please. Yeah, it, it, yes, it's a crit, please. It's a, crit, it's a crit success. Do we get yeah. the uh, yeah. the roll or the uh, or the final with the bonus? It should be final with the bonus. I think it's final. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, it's a shame, because I wanted that 40. Why do you have a fucking plus 20 to will saves? Um, Come off the shits with being smart. Master item bonus, Dumisa bonus, high wisdom yeah. stat. Mm. I mean, I you, plus, oh, yeah, that's wild. Yeah, I have a plus six, like, or plus 15 with the Dumisa bonus, but Jesus Christ. Druid has the brain cells. I forget about this. <laughs> Dragon roars from the sky. Estrella pulls out a guitar and just does a really cool <laughs> a um, full of chords. Yeah. As a free Dude, action, I, as a free action, I don't think it can see me. Can I flip off the dragon? Uh, dragon can see you. Okay, I will not flip off the dragon then. Yeah, uh, and as as this, it follows up its roar with shooting out a cone of frost. Uh, and then I'm going to need everybody to follow it up with a quick reflex. Uh, oh no, I don't want to do that. Uh, I would like to as well, because I rolled another nine. I rolled a one. This dice is going away now. Yeah, hold on. I need to get, get a get a get dice. Uh, that okay for the record. That's something I've noticed with my Astrea dice. Um, if I roll like a nat twenty or something super high, like I'll roll a really really high, like twice or thrice in a row, and then I get a nat one immediately afterwards. Um, okay, these are the BDSM <laughs> dice. I'm gonna insult them a bit and see if they roll better. My dice just hit me. Right? It's gonna be a dirty twenty again. I got a nineteen plus whatever the fuck my reflex save is, which is like a thirty four. Uh huh. 27. 27. 27 for green. Uh, so you <gasps> all, uh, anybody who got a 29 or below take 32 damage, 29 or above, half that. So 16. Uh, and, um, anybody who got a 19 or below, which I don't think anybody did, that's a critical. So, so what is Just it again? Barely dodged you didn't it. Get the uh, if you didn't get it, if you got above a 29, it's half. Uh, but it's half. It's 16, Thirty-two. Oh, that's cold. I'm yeah, at twenty-three. Twenty-four. Yeah, it is. It is froth that chills you to your bones as you just keep rubbing. Uh, and as this happens, you watch as the dragon just starts to tear its way through the mountain. Just chunks of rock and debris are falling everywhere, and you have to swerve and move to try and avoid it. Uh, Grun is going to attempt to jump up on Dumisa and ask her if she can get closer to the queen real quick. Yeah. I think you're all pretty close, so. Well, yeah, but Grun can't run very fast. And uh, so if she has a chance, she will reach mm. out and touch the queen and cast yeah. Sanctuary on her. Um, And you all notice is that despite being really cold, Serena has definitely gone extremely pale and is, uh, at the moment, whatever God might listen. <laughs> My mom! <laughs> yeah, so that's right at this moment. She's running and turning, but I'm just like, not now. <laughs> Stop just praying, keep running! And, you know, as you start to run, more of the debris and rocks are falling, and everybody just give me a quick, uh, athletics check to see how well you're of this. Can I not? What? I'm so scared. I'm sorry. It's a what check? Athletics. Athletics. Oh, do we say you're good? Damn it! That's the other. Don't, don't say that because then. my dice hate me. Uh, okay, that's not bad. That's a that's, that's a, a twenty-four. That's a fourteen Since, plus fourteen. Uh, Groon is with uh, Dumisa. Can she instead do like a perception check or something to be like, hey, look, falling rock to the left? Sure, I'll allow it. What does that give me? I will say if Grun, uh, Grun essentially will be doing the aid action. You want to uh, know what you're... I rolled? Are you ready for this? Was My third roll in a row, and the total is a dirty 20. I can't roll above a 10. So that's a critical success. You do get a plus two. Woo, 22. Thank you. Uh, the, the DC isn't incredibly high. This is just a bunch of falling rocks. So I anybody am... who, who got below a 20, uh, you, do, uh, you do take six. 
bludgeoning damage as you get I'm hit letting, by some I'm nuts. letting you know I probably failed. This athletics is another skill I'm not trained in. Uh huh. And I got a solid ten. Ten. Um. Yeah. Okay. Ten. And mm. I don't want to use a, a hero point. For so this. then it's it's ten bludgeoning damage as a rock hits. Ow. <laughs> yeah. Just makes contact you okay? with your shoulder. No, Australia is not okay. That's, That's putting her down at a 14. Yeah, Ouch. no, I'm, I'm in pain. Um, and as you're all doing this, uh, Kyria says a few words and does a three-action uh, emanation heal at fucking high levels. We get some dice. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Australia's mom. Best mom. Well, Best mom. Well. Well, I, I see, like... You know, okay, okay. We'll just say best mom who right now because as of now she's the only mom in the best, best, best living mom. Best, best living, living mom. mom. <laughs> you the one who wanted to put that. I didn't want to say it. <laughs> I was like, that's not fair. That's too mean. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pull out the dead mom jokes. You know, that's not me. That's not good. <laughs> no. And then here here you come in like, hmm, ha ha ha, Potter, did your mother teach you any manners? Oh wait, it's you, it's you right now. Yep. I'm sorry, uh, I, I make jokes to cope with the pressure. So you all heal 35. Fuck, 35? You heal 35 as this pulse of, honestly, it's like, it is divine energy in a way, but it seems to like almost be shadowy energy. Hold it's on, like, Aubrey, uh-huh. Aubrey. You're telling me this is the god of the night, and mm. we don't get a fucking glitter bomb because there's stars in the sky? Are you implying that we don't get glitter bomb? Here? I haven't finished describing it yet. I'm sorry. I'll yeah, show you. yeah. It, it is essentially like a blanket of the night sky. Oh. I apologize for my earlier statement. Yeah, but it's not like the like bright, uh, like divine energy, that, but it's more of like the energy of the night. Uh, so yeah, there are just twinkling, uh, and you just thank keep... you running this dragon has finally gotten through the the mountain and is just starting to just claw its way its jaws snap near you quite often as you just keep moving down through the through the noble district uh through the noble district to the merchant district to the residential district this dragon is just going through rock is almost a single minded determination to get you all and, beep, beep, let's keep running. Uh, and give me another quick uh, will save as it roars again. It has been long enough that you're no longer immune. Would I be able to counterspell this? Uh, counterspell as, thing. As, long as, as long as you have a focus point. Because it requires a focus point, right? Yes, it does. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to wait to see. have Demesa's plus. If you're close to me. Yes. Uh, if you're okay. within 10 feet of me. Okay, then I'm at a 30. Well, I um, still have not rolled above 10. So that's going to be a 23. I'm going to wait for what Estrella ends up doing before I use a hero point because I did not roll very high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just, just take mine. Just take mine. That's all I'm saying. What did you um, get? 36. I would like Both to take yours? the 36. Mm-hmm. 36 mm-hmm. is open for everyone to take. If you roll higher Thank than you. that, you don't have to take mine. If, um, if, if you didn't take mine. I will take this actually. I'll take the 36. I'm letting you know, I, I can't do it again until yeah. I have like a 10 minute rest. So yeah, uh, you it's not a critical success, so you are all frightened one Aubrey, right now. Mm-hmm. Aubrey, can I argue that since this is my path to perfection, even though I took a Astraea's save, this is a will save that I succeeded at, and therefore I get a critical success? Mm, it has to be your save. But... Ah, that's fair! <laughs> I'll, I'll allow myself to be frightened. So yes, you do that, and through the, my brain is like, why did I suddenly forget words? Through the residential district, you're down in the vaults and everything, and eventually you do come to the mines. And yeah, there are people moving, just there's streams of people going out through the mines. There are a lot of bodies of civilians, of soldiers of Vlagos, Ikreset, and Cressa, and then there are all of the soldiers of Naxos. Many living, many dead. It is a bloodbath, but it does seem like Naxos has at least won the battle for the time being, and they are getting out as many people through the tunnels as they can. So yes. And then the dragon has finally made its way through the entire mountain. At this moment, 
we are gonna go into an oh, no. so everybody rolls for figure out uh, what the plan is um can we tell how like the evacuation process is going right uh there are still a lot of people uh, it's <laughs> if you had to put it in a way if you could keep things busy for say five rounds you might be able to get the majority of people out there if you want to get everybody out there you could go for like eight or nine okay one d5 d cinco oh it's probably been 10 i imagine my uh mutagen has worn off uh yes it- well so much for the ac bonus also that lowers my initiative to seven uh, the one time I get a nat 20 is through the bot, so I'm going to trust the bot more than my fist right now. I'm about to. My, <laughs> my dice hate me. I have not rolled above a 10. Same! Same! I feel like yeah. I need to do a tarot check-in now. I'm sure it will just tell us this is... Doom. It's just keep Doom. drawing the death Doom. cards. Doom. Death. You just keep drawing the death cards. It's like, what the fuck? I don't have the... There's only one death card in the deck. Why do yeah. I keep drawing Tower card, tower card, keep drawing tower it. card. The tower is... So much work. I know it is. I just like I like the joke. So yeah. how high is we're in a big cavern? Like, um, the is ceiling it... It, ceiling pretty much just goes. Uh, the ceiling doesn't really exist anymore, as the dragon has gone through most of it. If that makes any sense, it does. Right, so it has plenty of room to fly around. Gotcha. Yep. You roll for. Uh, don't worry, you all. Serena has. Gonna bring up the bottom of the initiative. No, nice. Yay, I'm not last. Okay, so I have drawn our card. Uh huh. Page of Cups. What does it mean? It doesn't say victory. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> our dad wants it. Not ready to die again. Also, how I'm going to take that, even though it's not reverse. <clears throat> how long does Dragon Roar fright in the last four? Is it the regular fright in that? Uh, I. I think it's just a regular. So, so after one round? Yes. Uh, combat? Okay. Thanks. So card pick cups. I'm going to take it as right now it's totally not meaning the normal upright status. Because um, mm. the normal upright status is confidence, happiness, contentment, and insight. Sounds like the dragon's state of mind right now. Yeah. Clarifier you card. You drew for the dragon. Clarifier card. Um, the queen of cups. Which doesn't have... Uh, I mean, um, she's right fucking there, so. <laughs> um, protection and intuition, unconscious emotion, and creativity. Yeah. She's gonna kill us creatively. Uh, yeah. and the third card. Uh-huh. We're doing three. We're doing three. Okay, what is the third? The devil. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> yes. We're to the top of the round with the dragon. Starts off. And can, it, can it do that thing in JRPGs where it wastes a turn uh, assessing the situation or cackling maniacally? Mm, not yet. <laughs> Please. <Damn it. laughs> not yet. It does but... the fucking Dragon Age thing where, where it just flaps his wings and instead of blowing us back, we go forward to walk closer to it. It sucks <laughs> us in. Yep. Uh, and yeah, no, uh, as, as, as Warlock said, you're in perfect breath weapon range. Um, God damn it. <laughs> so, uh, I am going to need everybody, instead of the blast of frost that comes out this time, it is this gas. And like, uh, and I need everybody to do another, I need, this one is a fortitude save. Oh, no. Ooh, Thank God, my, my, my good one. The 13. I'm still regularly trained in fortitude. She's... Iliana and I have the same fortitude, which is- wait, no. Please, um, Dice Roller, have I'm, mercy on no, my soul. I'm just gonna use 31. a hero point. I'm gonna use no, a hero no, point. Sorry, no, sorry, 31. 31. Ah! Mm. Um, thank fucking god. There's a freaking natural one! Oh. Biden's amazing. Mm. I got a 27, so I'm- 28. Fine of, for now. But I used the, the, my second hero point on- Second hero point? How many hero points do I have? We have three. three. We have three. Oh. Well, I guess I'm going to use my other one. Please, we'll get another nat one. 27 for green. Oh, look, it's a 10. So that makes it 25 at least, but I can't. I don't think you're frightened, though. Am I not? Are we not still frightened? Because we came into this frightened? Yeah, you came in. So that's a minus one? Yeah. Yeah. So that's a 24, but still. 25. 27. Oh, rephrase. I said 31. I don't know what I'm thinking. That's a 30. Sorry. (laughs) <laughs> That's fine. Uh, 
So I am very obviously not the math gay. So anybody who got a it is C for this is 29. Fuck. Uh, and if you regularly failed, it is you were just slowed one for one round. If you critically failed a 19 or below, you were paralyzed for one. Oh, I safe. And if you <laughs> saved, you don't get anything. You don't take any damage. Uh, and it rolled a four on its breath weapon. So it cannot use it again for four rounds. Also, I mean it when I say I would, if it weren't for the fucking frightened, I would have, I would have made the DC fucking, I'm so upset. Um, <laughs> so I'm sorry, throw that in the chat or repeat it. Uh, for, what, for, what, what I, for, for what the consequences are. So if you just regularly failed, uh, that's DC 29. So 19 below, you would be paralyzed for, which means you cannot take any actions at all. We are off to the t- uh, and if you're just at 29 to 19, you're just slowed one, so you have one less action. But Breath Weapon does take two actions, and it will spend its last action moving closer to you, and now towering over. Uh, Serena oh. critically failed her check, so she's, like, frozen in, like, fright. Kratos just regularly failed. And, uh, Mero is now... Oh god. Oh fuck. Okay. So, uh... <laughs> this is hard! Because I'm like, fuck, I- I feel like if I try to punch this, it's not going to end well. Just just what I think right now of what I know of dragons mm. trying to punch this is more likely to break my fist than anything else, given the track record. So let me do some uh, measuring. I've slowed one. Mm. Kind of worried to break off initially. Uh, damn. I mean, I think the best bet for the first thing I can do is try to analyze the situation. You know, like try to discover weaknesses and stuff like that. So I think that's a secret roll you make, and please don't roll a nat one. I'm begging you not to roll another nat one. My first action would like to assess this. Uh... So you have one thing you uh you can ah uh, you can ask things like is it weak to what is it resistant to? Yeah, I is there anything that is weak? To ask. Mm, it does not appear to have, and you cannot think. Fuck no weakness, McGee. Ah. Uh, so I technically have two actions. I don't want No, to you have to recall is a not is an action. Yeah, so I have two more. You're, You're slowed. slowed one. You have right. one less action. Fuck, I thought I thought slow was in that docks your uh speed, not your uh Nope, it's a turn dock. That's why I have the speed. Fuck. Right, I completely forgot. Uh Well, I I will move uh cuz if I'm not if I'm not foot slowed, I would like to move half of my speed to move next to instead. Uh Mm. So that doesn't trigger reaction. So I don't know if this thing has them, but I'm not risking it. I have no choice but to move it like that. So yeah, I'm gonna move over here for my second axe, just you know, spread out the uh, balance a little bit better. Mm. Uh, and yeah, I guess I will. If it's a free action talk, I'll just say like I can't find any weaknesses. Fuck. Yeah. Australia is cool. 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 I'm fucking hell. I am going to um. I'm going to harmonize first. Um, mm. That means I'll be casting Inspire Courage and Defense. So guys, we got plus ones to everything. Um, attacking damage uh, saves against fear effects, as well as uh, an AC bonus uh, and a plus one to all saving throws. And the one that I keep forgetting, resistance to equal to half my spell's level damage to physical damage. So I guess that would be resistance three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you, Australia, for our life. And uh, with my last action, I'm gonna run away. <laughs> <laughs> um, my issue is I don't have. I'm not new me, so mm-hmm. and I want to try and spread us out so that way we we stop being in breath. I would yeah. also like to to fucking just, just not be here. So I think what I'm gonna do, and this is might mm-hmm. be a bad idea, is I'm gonna uh... go. A mm-hmm. little past, um, it'll be past Marrow and past three because I am on the farther, mm-hmm. uh, left hand side. And I'm gonna kind of try and touch up uh, on the walls over there. So, yep. um, it, it seems it's as far as I can fucking go in one turn, okay? Yep. Uh, I will say here and here are the tunnels that they're, uh, evacuating most. Yeah, that's another thing. That's why I want to stay away because we were all facing one of the tunnels. So I'm trying to get the fuck out. Uh, is that's all? I- 
And I'm assuming I haven't had 10 minutes of um, uh yeah so yeah i'm i'm out of focus points i will have to be self sustaining when does the slow leave us at the end of this round. Thank at you. the end of your at the end of your turn the slow goes away does the fear go away uh yes that will also go away okay next i'm gonna get rid of mm -hmm. so yes it is now kratos turn he is also going to spend his first action uh second action draw his sword and that is unfortunately on my guy moved further into the group he is placing himself in front of someone. I uh, fucking obviously is, but like, fucking scatter, dumbasses, scatter! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ileana, it is now your turn. I'm wondering if acid would come in here. Doesn't hurt. Well, let's try acid splash. My guy, you should try moving first. I had it would be a good idea to move. In front of Kratos. No, run away! But that use it! Mm. I'm attacking this bitch. We need to get some HP you, down you, on the you have You have three actions. You're, you, you do have three, and you could spend one action to move your entire movement away. Yeah, but you know we're not going to kill her, movement. right? She's, like, yeah. way above us. Attacking right now is not I a priority. I will move this away on the other side of Groob. <laughs> uh, and you said, ask Splash, is that a... Yes. Uh, is that a check you need from me, or is that a spell attack? Um, it's a spell attack. Hang on. Okay. I'm losing it. That is going to be a 25. Uh, 25? Okay. Uh, 25 is not going to hit. It's sort of just the dragon flaps a wing and the, you know, this, this thing of acid you were throwing at it, it just goes a different direction. Damn it. I tried. You're like, eh. I tried. Yeah. Sorry, y'all. Uh, give me a second. Okay. So I've just been informed I'm not paralyzed like I thought I was. Um, so, um... Use your armor, right? So technically, is it still activated? How long does that last? Technically, I don't know. Um, I mean, I know how long it lasts. I don't know if I have it up. Because I don't know if we had enough warning that we were coming upon a dragon to have triggered the I'm gonna do it now kind of thing. Um, I guess that would be Aubrey's call. I, I would say if you this is a thing that Demisa would do, yeah. Yeah, given given that our, our, our goal has been to go fast, I think that mm. if, if she thought we were about to run into a dragon, she would have tried to activate the cloak before encountering said dragon. But if that flies not. Yeah, I, I say you can if you want to. Okay, then I will I will have done that. Mm. Um I don't know if I did anything, but uh, cool. Um, 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 okay, so it's not really it's not really worthwhile to use this thingy because the round is almost over. So I think I'm just gonna rage and um uh I mean Grun has a little feet. I'm sorry, Grun, I know you're trying to do an e AoE thing, but I'm gonna try to carry you away from the dragon. Uh wait. Um, but to uh, break up, to break up the group a little bit, I'm going to run down. Mm. I can't, I can't move for some reason. Um, so I'm gonna just run straight down. Uh, I can move your token for you if you want. Thanks. It's like not working for me right now. Um, so that's gonna be fifty feet of movement. Can you just like, like point to where, like click where, and I can see it. Like click on the screen where. Yeah, hang on. I'm, I have to count the squares because it won't let me measure either. Oh shoot! Are these five square, five foot squares, or ten foot squares? Five foot squares. This is a massive dragon. Can you see that spot? Yep. Where are we going? Oh, I think I still have an action. Um, I guess I'll give her a smack. And you said you're taking a Groon with you. Uh, if Groon wants to come with me, I I should clarify. Yeah, I I. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Uh, give a roll for that. Gets a one. Oh no. Ah. Uh... Oh, hey, it automatically, uh, when it tells it, see, it is a critical fumble, it automatically pulls a card. Uh, do I use my last thing or not? Do not. You need to save yourself from death. You can spend your hero point and, uh, immediately stabilize. I would suggest not to use your last thing. Yeah, okay. Um, and as you swing at the dragon, the dragon, like, moves a foot and some dust just gets thrown up. And you find yourself a little bit tangled because you, you suddenly try to dodge it. You find yourself a little bit tangled 
like in your cloak, and you can't use this weapon to attack until the end of your neck. As you like, try to untangle Fair yourself enough. from your cloak. Grun 2.0. All right, so Grun is going to look up with terrified little goblin eyes and say, "It's okay. You're a good dragon. Please don't hurt us." And she will cast Calm Emotions. I need a DC T5 will saving throw. Um, and she can a 26. Ah, well, it would be too, it would be too bad to ruin our, uh, combat for the finale. Uh, but it has a not minus one status penalty to its attack rolls. Okay. Um, as long as I sustain it. Nah, man, that, could you imagine our little groom going, Good girl, and the dragon goes, "I'm a good girl." Like that would have been fucking great. <laughs> that's it. That's the finale. Cut the credits. That would have been great. Nah, that's the end of the the whole show. I would want it to end. <laughs> I don't care what happens next. It, it was definitely worth a try. It was. Um, yeah, and that's all my actions because mm -hmm. I'm. So yeah, Serena can't do anything because she's paralyzed. Even though she's seeming to get a little bit uh, of movement back in her body as her turn ends. Um, back to the top of the round with the dragon, and you watch as people keep moving through the the tunnels, just the streams of people. Uh, it does seem like there there's a little bit more fighting further away. It seems like some of the like the soldiers from up there have now made their way down here, so there is a bit of fighting going. On. So it is now the dragon's turn, uh, and she roars and is going to swipe behind her, uh, uh, Demisa Engru because you were technically in the same spot. Um, she will swipe at both of you. Oh, no. It wasn't Craig! No, Who's it done? wasn't. Uh, it was Trula. We lost Trula. <laughs> uh, I hope Trula's okay. Um, oh, no. Um, so that is uh, going to be 42 to hit. Are we to take constructive criticism? No. Constructive criticism? Um, uh, no, that doesn't hit. I'm gonna just <laughs> both of both of you technically do have a plus one AC bonus for me, so I don't think. I mean, it'll hit, but maybe it won't crit. I, I think right, I'm just a little scared. I mean, it's twenty over, so yeah, it's kind of crit. <laughs> and you, you do have that uh, damage resistance, though. No, I don't. I yeah, from Australia. Oh, from Australia. From Australia. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> How dare you forsake the group icon for um, this? I, no, um, no, it's specifically me. I thought I had something where I could have helped reduce that even more, but I don't think. You're also very far away from, don't think I have it. As this dragon's tail sweeps and just goes through both of you, like you're almost like bowling pins. You take 40 damage. Bad, I thought it was uh, And you are both pushed back 10. Is Grun alive? Is Grun alive? Yeah. Um, I was expecting a crit from a dragon to be much worse than 40. Um, Same, that's like she, the breath weapon. She, uh, she rolled low on that. Yeah! And we're pushed back know. 10. Guys, hmm? the rule of the rule of D D, don't remark on how oh, wait, low something is, because you'll get obliterated next turn. That's the rule yeah. of anime! Yeah, you're so yeah, and you get hit move back ten by the move daily ten. Ten. Yeah. Y'all, we uh, should just try to keep fucking running, okay? Just just goddamn bob and weave, okay? <laughs> so yep. Please stop fighting. <laughs> uh second and action. Dodgeball. Second action is going to claw at Kratos. <laughs> which he manages to flex with his sword. Just Holy barely. Shit. You know, it, it is. Kratos. And you know, he manages to flex it with his sword. But it is it is taking a lot out of him. And with her last action, she reaches. Has with, to reach past um, all of us? Oh no. She has like 20 feet of reach. Picking Serena up with a claw machine. And unfortunately, Serena is not going to, to uh, make that athletics check to avoid uh, being grabbed. Oh, no, 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 no. Grabbed and pulled by the dragon. And she is screaming and a little bit unsure of what to do. Just hold on. We're coming. I can, only, I can only hope she has enough brain cells to use one of her like little acid potions. Just drop that. Drop it in her mom's eyes, please. Yep. Oh, God, she, she, she has things to do on her turn. Pharaoh, it's now your turn. Uh, am also, I still... you, were, you, were, you were no longer slowed or frightened. Those went away at the end of your last turn. Amazing. I was about to ask that. So I got my full three action-y boys. Uh... Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So this bitch got. I do not want to rotate my character. Please don't rotate my token. Um, I think the best option right now is to kind of like spread ourselves out a bit more. Uh, does question does Dumisa count as flanking at the moment? Not currently. Okay. Uh, I'm actually ten feet away. I just can't move my token. God damn it! I'll do it. For you. Okay, so now she's definitely this move. I don't. Why can't you move? I don't know. Move. I could earlier. Now I can't touch anything. I mean, except wait, for my sheet. I've had that issue before. It's happened to me before. Okay, let's see. Even if you Maybe like just... refresh the page. Yeah. This is actually kind of terrifying. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what to do. Uh, Sonic. I am Sonic. I could teleport behind her. My current brain. I'm not sure what that would do. Other than, I guess it would be like dividing shit. More. Uh, drawing her attention. Mm. But also, I, I don't think I can get Serena down at the moment. Uh, so, uh, I, oh, I don't try, but I also think it's a, I mean. Um, if you want, if you want, because I was going to throw haste on you um, on my turn. But I need you to stay within 30 feet of it to throw haste on you. So, like, you can go where you want. I have 25 feet of movement at, at, at the bare minimum. So, like, next turn I can, can definitely um, throw haste mm-hmm. on you. I do plan on moving next turn, like further um, the more opened area of the cave, since we don't have anyone on that side. And also, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a ranged attacker, mostly. So, uh, mm-hmm. if you want to stay around that area, so that way I can hit you with haste immediately um, uh, on my turn, which is next, uh, we can do that. Yeah, I do also want to keep analyzing this and, like, what its armor class is, specifically, to, like, judge my ability to punch it. Because, like, if it's armor class, it's, like, 79. I'm not even going to attempt. Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, can I do that as my first action? Yes. Uh, All right. You have to give me the... Okay, and what did you want to know specifically? I kind of want to know his armor class, if that's something... Its armor class is 33. 33. Okay. That's actually surprisingly punchable. That is surprisingly punchable. Yeah, I was going to say. Like, I mean, it's a lot. It's not like it's baby. Um, but it's... I'm pretty sure... And surprisingly punchable. That's <laughs> yeah, I feel like I feel okay out of character. I feel like I crit failed that and didn't get any new. It's just a fucking lie that I would pull out of her ass. But I do, as an in character stand, have to go with this. Engine. So I am going to judge that surprisingly. Punchable. It's and big. It's big and not hard to miss, but it's got okay. a lot of health. Tanky That's is fair. what I would is what I would assume. Unless mm. unless um I don't know uh like. Like, I've seen um, dragons with, like, scale armor type of vibes, where it's sort mm. of like a Final Fantasy game, and it's like, haha, you broke through this, but there's, like, a whole other help Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was assuming. All right, well, I do want to annoy her. So I will, I guess, use my second action to move up, and my third action to, uh... Punch. Punch. Technically, I could stunning strike floor and blows. I don't think it's gonna work. But... Mm-hmm. So I am still moving only half For the three, I will let you know she would truly have to roll a one. Oh, I know. Out of character. I know. You've warned me. Uh, so let's mm-hmm. actually try stunning. I'll just roll both of them at once. Fuck. Uh, me, but I don't I, The plus one's already added. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, that's what I was saying. I'm not going to use a hero bit. Uh, but I do get my second attack. Let's see if I can hit it a minus four with a nat. Now you can only hit the second with a nat 20, but I am committed, so. Oh! Fuck! <laughs> oh, no. Are you serious? No! I am one point off! <laughs> It's your, you are punching away at this dragon and it's just not getting through its scale. Hold on, I am so angry. Estrella's modifiers added to this. Yeah, no, I'm pissed. No! What is Oh, uh, no, no, no. Oh, you said. You said uh, wait, was that your first attack? That was my second that attack. Ah, uh, dang. So co- <sighs> I am personally depressed. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, that is all three of my actions. I am. So this Australia. is what I, this it is, is now your feels turn. Like. Uh, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Can I share the information I learned with the class? I keep forgetting to do that. Just being like, it's big and slow, but skills are thick. So just an in character approximation of it has 33 AC. Yeah. Um, also, I lied. I forgot um, that because two counter performances, I was never able to make my shit a lingering comp. So I, I cannot move this round. But that's okay. I think. <laughs> so I'm gonna um, use one, my first action to sustain my um, my harmonize mm-hmm. and um, I will use my second to cast my last level, uh, third level spell 
uh, which I, I accidentally hit slow, but I mean to hit haste. Um, and I will haste um, Marrow and hopefully allow them to properly feel like Shadow the Hedgehog for a little bit. I remember what happened the last time you casted haste on me. Let's pray to God that doesn't repeat. I swear to God, if it does repeat, I'm just never going to touch it. <laughs> just never, never cast repeat. haste again. I'll cast it. I want to see if it works on other bitches. I just, <laughs> won't, I just won't use it on you. Um, and I think, yeah, that is that is all I can do. Kratos. Let's turn now. Uh, he has his sword, and he is immediately going to go for his first attack, which Get is... Get the thingies. Uh, that is actually going to hit. Ah, uh, yeah, cool. He is, he's definitely least. going going for the arm, and he's got the bastard sword wheel in two hands, so it's a d12. Why anyone would use a long sword? Available. Oh, you shade at your own gods, aren't you? So, you know, you watch as this is the first attack to injure it. And as he cuts, this sort of almost curial silver blood drips from the and sort of pools on the ground, like Mercury would do in, like, little balls. Oh, that's so pretty. Uh, and the dragon, the dragon roars uh, in pain uh, as he deals. Sadly, not as much as uh, he wished, but, you know, some damage. Uh, and he is going to spend his second action essentially attempting to wrestle Serena away. And he is actually successful. Ah, uh, yay. Go, Kratos. Oh, with the distraction of the, the like, actually getting hurt, uh, the dragon loosens its grip a little arena, and Kratos can just grab her, uh, and sort of, you know, with, in one hand, hold, like, holding, like, kind of, like, toss over his shoulder, sword in the other hand, uh, and he is, uh, going to essentially attempt to move away with her for his last action. Uh, okay, Eliana, it is your turn. Uh huh. How high up is this bitch? She's on the ground, but she is like 20 feet tall. This is a kaiju. Thank you for putting that in context for me. I was, look- I, was looking like- at- I was looking at potentially using Wall of Thorns and it's tall enough. Um, Mad Monkeys. Between it or um, my signature. Or trying out Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt is good. I don't like how you said that. That means it's either gonna heal the dragon, or Aubrey's just fucking with us. Or Aubrey's. I I think it's both. Okay, I think both is the option on that one. Uh, Well, what the fuck? Let's use my last spell slot. Last? No, you've you've got plenty of spell slots. You've got three spell slots. You've got. I only have three, and I used two. No, you you have three per level. Huh? You have three at each level. What? Yeah. You're not a 5e warlock. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. You've got three at each level. You should three for first level, three for second level, and three for third level, I believe. And but probably I two for fourth level. Was... Yes, you do. Yeah. heard my brain is now. Thank you. You're welcome. Oracle doesn't count, though, right? Oracle is a focus. Okay, so there's so your focus points. So technically, I only have a focus point. Yeah. So. Let's do Mad Monkey. I was really wondering, like, why you weren't casting so many spells. Well, it's I been wasn't... two full fucking seasons. I love this. <laughs> no, I've never corrected you. You, you. You've never been like, I have three spell slots. I would have corrected you if you'd been like, I only have three spell slots. I'm like, no, that's wrong. You got more than that. So you, your mad monkeys can do many different things. You've got three big options. You can try to steal something. Uh, you can as a death increase in the spell's area, um, or you can do the gymnastics and they jump and climb all over the creature in the spell area, interfering with complex movements. Let's do the tumultuous gymnastic. Cool. Level three spells. Mm-hmm. I'm using my tracker, okay? I am using my tracker off. E. That you got me for my birth. Yeah, welcome. Um, so yeah, uh, it, it critically failed because it Okay, critically failure. Um, as failure, butt monkeys cling to the creature tenaciously, and the effect lasts until the spell ends, even if the creature leaves the spell's area. Um, mm. fail- regular failures is for one round, the creature must succeed a DD5 flat check whenever it attempts a manipulative action. If it mm. fails this check, the creature loses that action. Yeah. So, also, what does it look like as you summon monkeys? As you so become the, the Wicked Witch of the West? 
less less flying monkeys, more like um um fly like, my pretties. Um 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 more um Chikorita Pokemon. Oh my with god. With the vines and everything. But yeah. but but with the lightning. Okay. Vine lightning Chikorita monkeys. Yes. But looking like a monkey. They're they're very viney, like body wise. Like it's not fur, it's vines. And this ivy and all that. The greatest I fucking I, I know you're saying, like, you know, Chikorita vine monkeys, but I'm literally just picturing Chikorita, the radish yes. dinosaur. A bunch of them. I'm just picturing <laughs> Pan Pan Sage, the grass monkey Pokemon. Pan Sage. That's true. Pan it was the good. only one I could think of off the top of my head that I can remember uses vines, okay? There's a lot of okay. grass related monkeys, so you're so if you're, you're totally fine. Yeah, Grookey with a little fucking like, coming out to draw. Oh, oh, Y'all, I'm OG Pokemon, so I probably have not seen anything past a uh, a uh, 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 movie with Suicune in it. That is, I remember that movie. I don't remember which one it is. There was a movie with Suicune. I remember the one with Entei. Um, yeah, sweet. Um, okay, quick tangent. Celebi. Speak. Yes, Celebi. Yeah. Celebi. I wasn't sure if I had the name right. Celebi was the last movie that I've seen, and I have not watched the show since. And that one, that one does have Suicune in it. And then, like fucking Raikou got mm. uh, instead of a movie, got like a little tiny TV OVA where they showed up like three times. <laughs> so Iliad is a Pokemon. Let's continue. My thing is that mm. my name, like chick- but monkey form. Yep. Is all there a bunch of them now all crawling over this dragon? Too bad Eric's not here. He'd be very impressed right now. Is Eric okay? Yeah, he's fine. He's just he's okay. with the rest of the group Eric's trying getting people. with the evacuation. I love how Karya saw a dragon and was just like, oh, "No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know she's <laughs> helping with the evacuation." But I'm like... gonna be honest. Ileana is legit. Kind of like a little sad. Eric's not getting to see her off right now. And you still have one more action. One level chin trips. Shield, right? Okay, let's use shield. Yeah, protect great. yourself. Yeah. Uh. Dumisa, as you watch all of these vine chikorita monkeys climb all over the dragon and restrain it. Okay. I'm going to fairy groon um, 50 feet towards this tunnel. Um, this is the tunnel that you came from, letting you know? Oh, we came from that one? Yep. Shh, dang it. Uh, these, these tunnels over here are the ones people are escaping through. Oh, that's actually closer. That works. Yeah. So I'll I'll fairy groon to this point mm. over here, and then I am going yeah. to, um, I guess go attack a dragon and try to keep it distracted. Um, so I will then use my second action to run in there, and I'm going to I assume just whiff, but you know who knows. Place your bets. Can we do a third, a fourth natural one tonight? We can do a three plus. Does it matter? Yeah, I guess probably not. It would be 21, I think. I'm yeah, so 21. sorry for your loss. Yep. It is just uh, not your day. It really isn't. Uh, Grun, it is now your turn. Um, so where is all the light coming? The light is pretty much coming from the fact that the mountain is now a giant crater. Okay, so we're in a well-lit, like, day-lit area. Pretty much destroys my plan um all right so i will spend one action being like please stop you're a very good dragon um and knowing that won't work i don't want incendiary aura i will spend my third action um yeah i'm gonna go with the good old fire ray i haven't used that in a while i don't want to hurt you you're a good dragon Despite no, everything she fucking world, isn't! Despite everything in the uh, world forever being like, dragons are evil! You know what? I'm gonna use it on that. Probably a good idea. Really? Yeah. Ah, there we go. Just How a 33 hit. It's, it's exactly enough. Yeah! <laughs> I have to get a 16 hit. Um, alright, well that is a lot of damage. Or a lot of dice. That's 25 fire damage. Oh yeah, plus my, uh, plus or no, it's half the level, so it would be... Okay. Uh, yeah, you deal damage, it roars in pain, uh, more of the black, you know, the, the silver mercurial blood 
uh, falls from it, and you see some points where you scorch it. And yeah, we come to Serena's turn. Serena is going to use her first uh, first action to do some quick alchemy. Uh, she pulls out a couple of flasks and stuff, mixes together, uh, and then we'll turn back and toss. Uh, sort of, it sort of it ends up this sort of bag that she almost bolos it at the dragon and throws a tanglefoot bag at the dragon. This dragon like today I'll be tackled by monkeys and whites. Yep. I mean, it's going to sail right past the dragon and land somewhere over here. But she tried. She made a valiant effort, but it was not good enough. Last. Oh, and um, it, uh, where it lands, it, where it explodes, there's also um, is where it explodes, there is a 10 foot burst of uh, smoke. Over here. Okay. Uh, where it explodes. And yeah, that is her turn. We were back to the dragon. Uh, okay. The dragon is going to spend its first action to swipe at you, Meryl. And it needs to su- succeed in the... Because attacking is considered a manipulate check, I think. I don't think it is, actually. I'm going to shoot myself in the foot with the rules. Uh, I don't think it's manipulate. I'm checking, really. Because I... I don't think it is. I feel like we've had this discussion before, and I'm like, damn, I hate to do this to myself. Okay, but... manipulate. Uh, I'm looking at it, too. Um. So, yeah, uh, attacks are not considered. Many other things are, Uh. but the attack, yeah, attacks are first. As we attack I should have just shut up. <laughs> yeah, attack you but with its, it, instead of its claws, its jaws come around and try to, to essentially so get you around the middle. Please, I'm not tasty. <laughs> Come on, uh, minus one. This is a 39. That is unfortunately a critical hit. <laughs> Barely a crit, but it's a crit. Uh, I would like to ask really quickly, because I ask uh-huh. this for everything. Uh, I know what the answer is probably no, but I do have to ask anyways. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Uh, is this a fiend undead or creature with a weakness to good damage? <laughs> no. I had to try. One day that feat will be useful. Yep. Mm-hmm. Specifically against horny vampires, I think. All right. Yeah. Uh, well, ruin me, I guess. Please don't actually ruin me. Uh, its jaws pick you up. Its jaws wrap around your middle, and it moves its head. And I need you to take seventy-four damage. Oh my! Oh. Hold on. Oh my fucking god! You fucking dead? I'm not dead, but I'm not doing very good either. Yeah. Uh, and uh. Let's see. Uh, some of it is considered cold, but I don't think that uh, affects you too much. Um, and then it's going to spend its second action to eat you across uh, room. You uh, give me a give me a quick acrobatics check to make sure that you land on your. Do I take damage if I fail? Is a quick question. I don't to bust a hero. Uh, you will take damage if you fail. Not a lot. Uh, okay. I mean, you're not taking really any fall damage, so it's gonna be. Like... I don't take fall damage anyways because I have okay. catfall, but five damage I can. Let's. Uh, this roll is essentially going to be: Can you stick the landing, or are okay. you pro? Acrobatics, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, the answer is I rolled a nap. You uh, are prone. You just okay. flat against the wall, slide down, cartoon character style. Uh, important question: Do I take uh-huh. more than five damage? Because I might use a hero point because I cannot take you, ten. You take five damage. Okay. Uh, I'm at like three HP. I would let you guys know. <laughs> no, I need, say, I need to know and important. Who has who is carrying the last Serena um, super health poke? Is it me? I'm I carrying a regular life one. one. Yeah, I think it is you. Okay. Well, if it's me, I have thoughtful gifts. So if you would like to filter, <laughs> so I can give you the big heal. Yeah. In the form of a potion, I suggest oh. you. Do it. Yeah. First Hold action, on. grab marrow with the jaws. Second action. Third action, turn around and Demisa with the claw. The fact that I didn't die immediately after haste is cast on me by the enemy is an improvement from the last time. Oh my gosh. Uh, that's a 32. Oh gee, it hits. But it's not, it's not, mm. um, you know, it's not the thing. That's critical. Uh, so that is 24 bludgeoning damage. This back of this claw just strikes you face. Is that minus the, the whatever... Australia does. Oh yeah, a... you guys have three resistance, so like minus three to all your damage, please. 
21 well, damage. Can I practically apply that so we're going to have a 90? Yes. <laughs> yes. And then, Marrow, it is your turn. Delay your turn. Um, I would like to delay it after Astraea slides me the fucking potion. So yeah, I would like to delay my turn for now. Okay, so the way... De- we've never really de- messed with this too much, but the way delay works is that any time... You are essentially now permanently going to go after Astraea in the initiative. Mm-hmm. Just yeet me down to where Astraea is. Yeah. Honestly, it's not that bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're, only, you're only swapping. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Amazing. Going to use my first action to sustain um, my harmonize. My second action to thoughtful gift at first um, level uh, the last you know, potion um, to, to Marrow. So, Marrow, it is in your hands as long as you can do it. I consent. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna use my third action. Um, <laughs> oh, that's such a bad idea, and I don't know if that's not gonna help us. Ha- What's the idea? <laughs> um, I have a move where I can insult them. <laughs> if, if I can uh, insult them, that bomba, might not. Bomba. You know, you know, you know, um, it would, but it would give them a status um, to like perception and will saves. Yeah, hmm. uh, and it's you make the roll, or do they make the? Roll? I make a roll against their will. Okay. And um, what do you call it? Uh, there's, there's, there is only critical success, success, and critical fail. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's not like yeah. it's going to be horrible. Um, I mean, if you want to go for it, roll. I mean, it d- doesn't hurt. Aubrey, I have a quick question. Uh huh. Is there a physical? <laughs> is- is there a physical limit to the amount of potions I can drink in an act in a, like one round? No, like can I drink like a potion? As long as every- you have an action. <laughs> okay, if you you're want, gonna- if you want to chug three potions for three actions, go for it. <sighs> Afterwards, the next hit you get, you pee a little. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I just don't want to run too far away for when we have to like when we decide to dip. I um get mm-hmm. stuck on that side. So um yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna bone more let's bon go more. let's go bone more you know it's nothing nothing wrong you know I in in fucking draconic because I can speak it I just co- I always needed this, a new fucking bag <laughs> and um to diplomacy on me that's um that is that is thirty two thirty two thirty two is that is a just a regular failure regular if nothing happens yep. You're just like, damn, I need a new handbag. And Creator Crest is like, bitch, buy one then? <laughs> like, what are you, broke? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, uh, Mero, it is now your turn. Okay, so I'd like to chug drugs. Uh, yes, so do a drug. So first off, I, 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 have, I have three actions and I have the extra action. So first off, I want to chug the powerful Serena. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll just roll 66 with the control dice box. I'm lazy. Plus six. Yeah, hold on. I'm just... That is actually really fucking bad. That's only like 20 health. Uh, so I get back 20 health. Even with the plus uh, six? Yeah, I rolled like a fucking... I rolled two twos mm. and like three... Yeah, I rolled two twos, two ones, and two fours. I rolled real shit. Uh, so I get... Uh, 20, yeah, cool. Yeah, the sec- second one. Uh, second action. I do have the, the lesser life potion, or whatever life potion that, that uh, Serena gave us. The so can I chug one. that too? It's, a, it's, it's 3d6 plus Okay, uh, because I'm not going back into this combat with 29 health. So that's 16. Why the fuck was that almost the same? <laughs> okay, uh, so I'm at 45 hits. Uh, mm. I'll use my third action to stand up so I'm no longer prone because I don't want to be prone anymore. And I technically have a secret fourth action I can only use to stride or, um, stride or strike. I don't think I can strike, so I will be. Um, yeah, you haven't unlocked the ability to hit somebody from 20 feet away. Yeah. Uh, if I stay in uh, this person's range and I don't like- If I go into it and stay in it, they don't get, like, attack of opportunities, right? Yep, as long as you don't leave their range. Okay, Australia, do you want me to teleport directly beside you? That's a bad idea. Um, if you want to. Uh, That's the opposite and- direction of the exit, then. Yeah, but I can fucking teleport 45 feet for an action, so, like, I don't think I'm that um, worried. I mean, okay, wait, how many times can you do this? Uh, I can mm. teleport twice. I haven't used twice? any of those points yet. Oh, okay. okay. I will, well, then, I will as say long the, as... The, the, the teleport does not count as a stride action. Oh, I'm not yeah. using it now. I'm just using okay. a regular walk. I'm like, just I'm... making sure, because you were like, oh, do you want me to teleport right next to you? Just to let you know. Doesn't I should have... 
I should have specified, I want to walk very fast next to Astray. Mm. I'm not actually going to be a focus point to teleport. Yeah, I was uh, about to say, at least save one for yourself, so that way when, yeah. we, when we have to go, you can just, psh, you know? But yeah, like, yeah no. if you wanna, if you wanna, if you wanna slide right on by. Yeah, I don't I think not, this is, uh, yeah, I, I think if I move this shit attack of Aubrey, like, mm. just from this, Aubrey, can you confirm or deny? Yeah. Okay. Or, you know, you don't know until the uh, that's because I feel like if she attacks off him, wait. I could take a slightly more roundabout route around Kratos. Uh, I'll be consistently ten feet away, so therefore, um, uh, I will say she. I know, like she can still hit me, but I'm not. It's like I'm not going five feet than ten feet. She doesn't mm. have. But I still, do. still, it literally is the exact same thing. Yeah, because because you would not be leaving her melee range. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna noom over to Australia real quick. Uh, ignore the fact that I even clipped directly over the dragon for this, because I can't drag my token. I give her a kiss on the cheek and I go, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't be a fucking coward. Oh, I don't think kissing a dragon that's trying to kill us on the cheek is a free action, don't <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright. Like a coward and I'm I, out of character, would cheek. I would die in the process. But that's- so, um, it is now Kratos' turn, and he is with his free hand. You watch as this tattooed flowing water glows and with an outstretched hand he casts a hydraulic push at the dragon eat the dragon eat the dragon eat the dragon and it hits oh does she get pushed back pushed back five feet oh my god is she in the tangle foot yes she is now yeah let's go uh and takes 36 of damage hydraulic pushes are really good first level spell it's 3d6 damage if it hits oh yeah no it's very the best way to put it is, I think, in terms of damage, Primal has the best, or has the most. Because oh, I, yeah, I don't think freaking Arcane has that many. Like, Arcane oh, uh, is hydraulic, diverse, hydraulic push. but... Uh, hydraulic uh, push is also under. Yeah, no, but, like, it, Primal so mm. far be hitting everything, is what I'm yeah. saying. Okay, we have primal, primal is Primal is very damage-heavy. They looked at their druids and just be like, you shall deal so much damage. <laughs> Healer druid, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Um, so yeah, take some damage. Uh, it's two action, and his, uh, third action, he is gonna cast shield. He is essentially trying to hold the line right. Uh, Ileana, it is now your- And I'll let you know, the Mad Monkeys, uh, you do have to spend- If you, uh, want to keep it going for up to one minute, you have to spend an action every turn to sustain it. If not, you can, um, just- Well, we're gonna uh, spend an action to sustain it, because yep. I want it to keep going. And then we're gonna do Sudden Bolt at a level three. Cool. Um, yeah. That well, is... probably going to be really, really bad, but... I uh, it's a it. 29. Damn it. Do they take... Uh, I think they take half damage. Which is only do- two... No. What would we take? You want me to roll five D... D- roll five? Yeah, just roll yeah. roll five and we have. Better bet for getting more damage. Oh, well, I have to take 12. You also get a plus one of damage me. It's gonna be twenty-four and a half. So oh, twenty-five. Okay. Uh Dumisa, it is now your turn. Okay. Um, so what is the plan here, folks? It's getting out, correct? Um uh, we're, we're stalling for time. Stalling. Yeah. Yeah, so we're other people get, can escape. Yeah, we're on round three. Mm. We're on round three. We need a minimum of five rounds to get majority of the people. If we wanna get oh, everyone out, I believe Aubrey said eight. Eight or nine, yeah. Eight or nine, yeah. So mm-hmm. I want to make it to five to at least get majority of people out before we even attempt to bring it back. And I think, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I think we're all mm-hmm. okay for now. Yeah. She hasn't thrown um, in, like, 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 a few other things. Yeah, so we're okay, we're okay. Her breath weapon also recharges next turn, so just be aware of that. Yeah, fucking scatter, which is something Kratos and Serena have failed to do, but that's fine. Um. Okay, so I think in that case... It doesn't matter what I do. Yeah, it literally doesn't matter what I do. I'm going to just attempt to go into Dread Marshall stance. Oh, look, it's a five. Your dice have chosen violence. Like, holy fucking shit. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, no, see, yeah what the fuck? No, I want to have you so many different dice, dice too. Fail. Why don't you just try like a dice roller? I've done the dice roller too. That's what gave me my third <laughs> natural one. <laughs> Okay, and the decision. three. Anyway, I'm going to just Ferris, move. Ferris, what, what, like, what wizard anger this week? 
I don't know. I think it's work. I think work. Wait. Oh, you're having fun tonight? No. You're getting um, rich okay. tonight. R.I.P. that barbarian. I guess I'm just gonna move to the opposite side of the dragon to give her another target. For funsies, maybe I'll just double dash. I don't think you can clip through the dragon. But I have fleet step, so in two actions. So I don't have to. It may actually be large enough that you can go right through its space. I don't remember what the rules for that in Pathfinder I would say are. you probably could, because it, it is at least high enough off the ground. Yeah, I like matter. Um, I'll I'll only go fifty feet, I think, and um, for for fun to see how bad I can roll, I'm going to glare at the dragon and try to intimidate. It's a it's a natural ten, so that's gonna make it. Uh, ooh, a twenty seven. Highest thing I've rolled all night. Is she? Uh, twenty seven for and that's it's. Uh, no, she is not scared. I didn't think so. And Grun, it is now your turn. You're too far away now, Dumis. Yeah, even with three actions, I can't. Um, oh, sorry, Grun. I'll have to get you on the way back. So in that case, completely changes my plan. Um, I'm so sorry for your loss. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with a third level searing light. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm going to give up because that? that minus one is not helping. Oh, that that <laughs> hurts so badly. Um, yeah, it's not worth using my last hearing point, hero point four. I assume a twenty three is a whiff, right? A uh, twenty three is a critical whiff. Let's see what's this. Um, you know, as you're casting this spell, uh, you know, something happens. You hear a sound behind you, and you look, and you're not paying attention, and you have lost control of the spell, and it sort of just blows up into you. Uh, and you take three fire damage. I take zero fire damage because I have resistance. But you're a little bit scorched Yay. now. Uh, it was 2d6 and I rolled it. It was a one and a two. Nice. <laughs> um, and I'm going to go ahead and my minus one isn't helping anything. So I will use my movement to run behind this rock over here. Cool. Why do you have a minus one? Um, I was giving it a minus one status penalty to attack, but it can't seem to roll less than a 30, so I don't think it was helping. Oh, you meant it's minus. I thought you, you were talking about minus to yourself, and I was like, what? Don't I at least even so oh, hurt you? Uh, Serena, geez. help us. Serena, uh, and she is doing alchemy. Uh, and so she does a few more things, this sort of large almost healing potion and so first action to make that second action move over here so she is within range and third action yeet at dumisa <laughs> and it gets close enough that this this bottle gets pretty much right at your feet and it is almost like sugar glass it hits the ground it explodes and this sort of health potion around you aerosolizes and you breathe it in and feel better. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. How very imagined dragons are. I don't think we're imagining the dragons. <laughs> I think they're right here. Uh, heal heal <laughs> 22 damage. Nice. Why you gotta ruin my fucking joke? No, man? I get you're joking. It's amazing, but I'm sorry. Mm. You're it breathing now in the chemicals? The dragons. Can it knock it? Knock it. I'm keeping That's track good. of our rounds, by the way. Hey, um, dragon, I must say you have beautiful eyes. Please don't kill us. Eh, eh, come on. So, uh, Mero and Estrella, I am going to need you both to give me uh, reflex saves as the frost break comes at both. Oh, that's on. Absolutely fucking knew it. Um, damn it. It's not, this is not physical damage, right? Uh, it is cold damage. Damn it. I can't do the thing that I prepped myself to be able uh, to do. I have a plus one to these saves because of Estrella, right? Because it's not yes. adding it for me. Okay, yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah, plus one. Um, the, the thing that's up here right now only adds Inspire Courage. So mm -hmm. Inspire Defense stuff, I have to keep reminding uh, everybody about. And I don't use Inspire Defense enough to remember it myself. Hi, can but I use the admit... second hero point of the game? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to use my physical dice. I'm going to use the uh, BDSM dice and call them a whore and see if it works. But yeah, that's that's why I keep reminding y'all about the plus one to eight. Mm -hmm. Okay, slut. Okay, that actually rolled really good. <laughs> I hate this. 29 for me. 
Uh, 31 for me. Both of you succeed, so you'll take half damage. Uh, and so that is, uh, 15, no, 14 full damage. I thought okay. you were going to say 50, and I was about to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was about to lose my shit, hold on. So 14 cold damage. Yeah, 14 cold damage. And that is two actions. Okay, uh, I'll stop breathing. <laughs> and that is two actions. So for its last action, it is going to take, it is actually to this way, last action. It sees Serena, and mm. I don't like that. Uh, Australia, it is now your turn. Nice, nice, nice. I'm cold. I am chill-tastic. I uh, will, yes, I will spend one action. My harmonize up, stained, and mm. I Is this dragon, could I actually? I could trip it. You could, yeah, you could try. Magic, yeah. yeah, I could try to trip it. I, I'm, I'm thinking... I, I do have the range for it. Mm-hmm. It's a spell attack for me, you not do. an athletic. Uh-huh. And I'm pretty sure I, I have a decent chance of hitting it. Mm. Okay. Um, oh, God, but I'm also not looking too great on hell, bloodied. Um, yeah. Oh, but tripping a dragon would be the best way to go out. If, if you do trip a dragon, I it does have uh, flat footed, so if I manage to punch it, I can sneak it. <laughs> Okay, I'm yes. tripping. Yeah, then, then tripping the dragon mm. is is way more valuable than um. I mean, like you know, I still have a hero point. <laughs> so let's just trip this fucking dragon. Let's go. Oh, oh, did I? Did did I? Did thirty <gasps> three? Thirty three is oh my success. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for my life. Okay, look, listen, yo, you see this beautiful, glowing, pink, glittery large rug carpet appear underneath the dragon <laughs> <Yoink>. <laughs> and then they yoink it into the dragon's on its back or something oh. i imagine oh it like God. falls forward <laughs> that's it i'm good does it have like a wilhelm <laughs> scream sound effect yes <laughs> oh thank you thank you so much it's flat-footed for all of you for the rest of you actually it stays like that right until yep, it's it, 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 it's top of the round so it's not going to go again until uh, the top of the round and it, rolled, <laughs> and it rolled a three on its uh, on its uh, breath weapon. Three rounds before it recharges. Beat its ass. Okay. Beat its ass. Beat its ass. Yep. Uh, Mero, it's now your turn. So I have been requested to beat its ass. Yep. Uh, so I at least want to try. I'm not using any of my key points because I want to save all my abundant steps so I can fucking 90 feet of teleport and two actions required. Uh, so I'm saving that for now, but I can floor your blows. And is this thing flat footed, man? Yes, it uh-huh. is prone. Let's hope I can hit it. So this is stunning strike for your blow. So let's let's just roll both of these and pray to God. Oh, 35. Okay. 35 is going to hit. I do uh, have to th- roll the second thir- one. 30. Th- <laughs> no, it, no, wait, it yeah. adds. Yeah, it added for me already. Don't worry. I keep uh, forgetting. Okay. Uh, I'm going to roll my second attack because I do. And you do need to make me a fortitude save, but I don't think I must roll in that one. <laughs> like, yeah, no. It's... Damn, unfortunate. Okay. Uh, that's that a nat 20. <laughs> and a critical hit. Let's pull from the critical hit deck, yes! see what we get. Yes! Uh, two, two, the, target, the target is sick and two, and it is certified two and face ah! bludgeoning, which yeah. I did. So, oh my god, did I just fucking dex this get thing? It, yeah, you get it right in the head. I, I just punch it so hard in the head twice. It's not stunned, but it is not doing very good anyway. Uh, let me roll all of this damage real quick, actually, because I didn't get critical hit. Uh, oh hold on. God. Ah! <laughs> let me just roll a fu- I'm not using my- a lot of d6s. So let me pull up my dice roll again real quick. Yeah. Okay, so for the first one, it's- I'm just gonna roll all the bludgeoning and all the precision damage. So, uh, first one is mm. 2d6, and then the second one is 4d6. Oh, kind of modifiers. Okay, hold on. So that's- the, uh, attack modifier is double two, right? So my plus seven is doubled as- Yeah. So that's- 21 plus 7 plus 14, so 28 plus 14. Yep. So, like, 42? 42 bludgeoning, and we get 3d6 of uh, precision damage as well. Uh, and that's nasty high. That's uh, 14 points of precision damage. So mm. I just fucking dick the Queen of Pressa in the head! Yep. Twice. Um, as you're doing this, some of this mercurial silver blood gets on your hands. Give me a quick fortitude save. Oh Ooh. no! You, you have the plus one. I do. Uh, apparently, punching a dragon skull in is not the best idea. However, I will roll anyway. That's a thirty-one. 30. 
It's 31. So yeah, luckily you're you're able to react fast enough uh, to brush it off. Uh, but you do, you definitely watch as it sizzles some of your clothes. You've got like a couple spots where uh, it oh no, Lila's cloak. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> all right. So uh, my first action, I just bludgeoned her skull in. Yeah. Uh, so I can I take a moment, like just a just a free action to impress <laughs> myself. Yeah, you're just like holy shit, that works. I didn't expect that to work, but here we are. Um, I don't think I can hit her out of my knee. I am not going to test my luck with that. So I'm actually going to... Uh, I don't have a lot of health, so I just kind of want to get out of the way. Uh, like, where's Groon? Groon is all the way over there. Groon is hiding behind a rock. Okay, so I can actually get right next to him with uh, the extra stride action I have, my three remaining strides, all with mobility. So she doesn't get a reaction on it. Uh, so I'm just going to fucking book it over to Groot. Exactly 60 feet away, which is three actions of movement, because I have that extra one, and it's all half speed, so she doesn't get to attack of opportunity, my ass, if she hypothetically could have. Uh, so I'm just going to fucking punch her head in and just run, like, I didn't expect that to work. Yeah. Holy shit, okay. <laughs> and that is my turn. Yeah, so next up is Kratos, and while you're doing that, I hold his dice, because I was thing moving. Uh, and he goes in and is attacking his sword, he only gets one hit in. The other two both just glance off skin. Uh, and yet he also is able to brush the blood off of his clothes before it does an image. Uh, he does some. And yeah, this dragon is, is looking injured, but it does not look bloody. Okay. Uh, and Ileana, it is now your turn. One action. Mm-hmm. I was trying to pick ahead of time and I just could not. Let's give Shatter. Let's see if. Mm-hmm. Who are you going to cast Shattering Gem on? Be dragon Shattering Gem is a bit like shield. Uh, you can cast it on somebody to protect them, and then if something hits them, they have a chance of taking damage. I don't feel like using a... F- I will say, it has thrown a lot of cold things at you. Okay. Um, and is that a reflex save from... Okay. That is... That's a 30. Uh, that is a... Um... That's a failure. Does it still take damage? It says, Does it say it's a it's a basic reflex save? Yeah, it says here deals six fire damage to each creature must attempt a basic re- on subsequent rounds. You sustain the spell the first time. You sustain the spell each round. You can... Um... Uh, it does say creatures that succeed at their save take no damage instead of half. Cool. Yeah. Last line. Yeah, it's the very last line. I just hang on there, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Who do Misa? Okie dokie. It's it's prone. You might as well as much as you can. <laughs> My sheet zoomed in. I can't hold on. It's also sickened mm. and stupid. So, uh, Jesus. Yeah. I think I gave the Queen of Crescent to brain damage. <laughs> okay, well, I'm, I'm going, going to... The, like a real wicked migraine. I don't know. Yeah. To, um, I guess rallying charge is low-key. Kind of useless, but that's fine. I'm going to do it anyway. So I will stride inward and attack. Oh, that's a nine. So I'm gonna miss. Wait, what's that total? Because it's minus four to its AC right now. Um, the total is to be. Isn't its total? Isn't its AC um thirty three? It is yes. twenty nine currently. But it's minus four. It's prone. Yeah, there's no way to hit this. Um, twenty seven is all I got. Yeah, but it's still not a crit fail. True. This is an improvement. This is an improvement. I'm not crit <laughs> failing. Not crit failing. <laughs> um, I don't know. I got nothing. I'll just roll again. Who rolled above a 10? You. Yay! First that's what you get for using the dice I picked. Um, so that's going to be. What did you say the AC was? 29. <laughs> that's exactly what I got. You hit. You hit! Yay! Uh, ha, 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 I gotta do ass. something this get her game. Ass. For the plus one of damage. Twenty-five. A Twenty-five damage. Not bad. Respectable. Uh, and give me that quick fortitude save as the murky blood uh, starts to wounds. Oh, that's that's going to be a lot here. Indeed, it was. That's a six. So, um, total is going to be what was this fortitude? Fortitude. At least fortitude's my good thing. You um, get a plus that's, one for me. Um, twenty-three. Twenty-three. Yeah, uh, the DC is fifteen. 
Oh, good. It's a low one. Uh, it's it is literally it is literally just to make sure you can. This is an incredible. Oh, lie. if it's that, my fortitude save is plus sixteen. So I'm just not gonna roll for those. Yeah, you could get if I ever one. hit again. You, you could, could get an at one and crit. Which I mean, would only turn into a regular fail. Exactly. Okay. But this is literally this is, I, it's not incredibly hard uh, because it does fall in sort of big droplets. Uh, it's just to avoid uh, getting it on you, brushing it off if it does. And hey, Groot, it is now your turn. All right, so uh, what's Moon, my Moon, help me! Option? I say as I'm right next to you. Oh, or oh, don't if you don't want. You're at low health. I'm at a third of my health, so technically not that low, but like it's yeah, still but, risky. And I just saw you die, so you, <laughs> you would get prioritized. Um, <laughs> so Groot will go ahead and pull out her healing her uh prayer beads to cast a second level heal. At Thank you, Groot. I'm so sorry. Um, so that's 29 plus another, or uh, sorry, it's, it's two action, fourth level. Um, 29 plus eight times four is uh 32. So uh, that's 32. oh shit. So yeah, I'm it, very good. Right. Now. That's like 61. Here. Yeah, I'm um, almost back at full. Hold. Yep, and I guess she'll attempt a medicine check on herself with the treat wound and we'll just i'll just go for the regular 20 on dc i'll roll in case no not a crit success no success and i'm feeling better cool okay Uh, it's your turn it is serena's turn uh first action quick alchemy uh one of those other healing bombs second action move over to astrea third action be like I'm so sorry. Bonk. She just breaks it over my head? <laughs> yeah. It's like sugar glass. All she has to do is like, t- like hold it hard. <laughs> uh, you feel... Thank you. <laughs> I absolutely love these so much. Oh, God. No. <laughs> it just breaks a bottle over my head and I feel better. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, and... So we are back to the top of the round with the dragon. So it's gone ahead and spend its first action to get up. And its second action, going to turn towards you, Demisa, and come at you with its jaws. I forget what stupefied is new, and I hope it's it, it, it is it minus its attacks, just like that. Oh, amazing. That's a 40. What yeah. the fuck? Yeah, it's going to hit again. It still has like a plus 20. Yeah. It's going to be one of those criticals. Hey, that's it's, low. That's only 35. It's a physical attack, right? <laughs> Aubrey, is this a physical attack? Uh, a yeah, it would be a attack. It's a bite. Okay, then then minus three. Ooh, there goes half my hit points. <clears throat> yeah, but you please. resist at least three of it. <laughs> I do, I do. It went from being over half my hit points to just slightly under. <laughs> okay. Uh, third action is going to move closer. Oh, it moved. It moved, right? Uh, it, it, did it leave a square during a move action? It, technically, it didn't leave her attack range, but yeah, it left a square. Oh, well, because attack of opportunity specifically says um, a creature within your reach uses a manipulate action or a move action, makes a ranged attack, or leaves a square during a it, move it action. It is a move action. It I'm going to try to hit this sucker. Go for it. Do it. Got in her ass. Hey, I rolled an 11. Hang on. It's not going to hit. Plus one. But hang on, hang on, hang on. Is her AC still 29? Uh, yeah, technically she's actually <gasps> fine for it. I hit her! Yeah, yeah! Let's go! Fuck her up! Cut off her tail! We can take it home as a trophy! Ooh, the first one was a 12! Hold on! Right, yeah, okay. plus one yeah. damage from me. It's on my list. Hmm. 27 damage? Yeah, you do that. Uh, give me the fortitude save real fast. Just to make sure you know. I'm good. Cool, yeah. Uh, so that is its turn, uh, and you do that, and then off in the distance you hear another roar. Uh, Excuse? Two pigs? Excuse me? And sort of down the, from where you came, where the ruined city now is, you watch as this giant. What the fuck? What the yeah, freaking dinosaur? Just, you you just know it as a I guess that's a wingless dragon, sort of just boom, boom, boom. And then Roar again uh, comes into, and Arms. on top of it, you see, like, writing, like, on it, like, where its shoulder might rip. What the <laughs> fuck is happening? Uh, Grandpa for the save! He, 
they yeah, resurrected a dinosaur? Or are they what just the alive? What is happening? I had, we had a family pet this whole time. <laughs> he wasn't gonna fucking tell me. What the? Yeah, and it's, it's going to its first action moving up to the dragon. <laughs> Too bad you're stuck with me at haste. And it is. Oh, I'm in a bad spot here. <laughs> it, and like, as, as it's doing this, Rin is like, get out of here. I've got this. Or we've got this. <laughs> Love too, buddy. Uh, Can I just call back? Where the fuck did you get a dinosaur? <laughs> There's this flightless, tiny armed dragon. <laughs> yeah, it's literally it's that. It's like you don't know it's a dinosaur. It's just a very large dragon with no wings. Where'd you and... get this boot like dragon, Ben? <laughs> uh, it's just like uh, there would be time to talk about this later. Um, Lila, you got this right, and he jumps right off. That's did you Lila. Say Lila? <laughs> what? That's Lila. <laughs> Uh, and goes in, and you watch as the jaw of this thing sinks into, like, the shoulder of the dragon, uh, and it cries out in pain. Misa just kind of ducking a little bit as she stands between a dinosaur and a dragon. <laughs> uh, yep. You know what? I may as well roll with this at this fucking point. He's, wait, 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 wait. wait. Um, are we... He's asking us to leave. We yep. are at five rounds, and most of them evacuated. You want to yep. keep... You all just want to fucking dis... Um, um, uh, so yeah, yeah, no, and he is there, and uh, Dinosaur Lila is here. I'm not I mean, even gonna ask how, I'm just like, okay, sure. I feel like if we have a dinosaur, we can hang out the eight rounds, right? That's a hard maybe. That's a hard maybe. I, the, um, dra- the dragon's not, like, dying or anything. Yeah. Probably. I don't yeah, think we is, made a, a real dent in it, to be it's honest. It's not even at half mm-hmm. health yet. No, but it has a really big target. I'm not gonna lie, we have been doing surprising well. I just say this about myself after carb stopping her head. Uh, but I, I do think we should probably dip. Uh, I feel like if a grandpa riding a weird look dragon shows up, that's just kind of a sign that you're no longer needed. Okay. Well, I'm letting you know what I'm going to. I'm gonna sustain so that way Lila and Rin will still ha- will also uh, keep having, and the rest of us will keep having our AC bonus and stuff like that. But I want to trip it again. So I really hope Serena can just take my hand and drag me. <laughs> because I want to trip it again so that way they have more of a chance for I later. I grab you. I don't know if I can squeeze between them, but if so, then I can probably grab you. Well, if I trip them, if I succeed in tripping the dragon, um, then I, she's technically so. True. Yeah. The idea is that Serena also has to get out. She's pretty much narrowing in on Serena a lot. So, uh, and I'm just like, if I keep tripping, <laughs> I can trip her twi- two more times. But to keep our AC bonus and stuff like that up, I also need to spend an action, which means somebody has to effectively fucking carry me out. <laughs> I got you. Okay, well, then that's, you gonna, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, uh, first action, sustain my harmonize. Mm-hmm. Second action, going to cast telekinetic maneuver and mm-hmm. hope to trip her again because that was funny please i want you to succeed at this again so i can take a pot shot of all your blows at her as we're leaving my own plus one remember that <clears throat> oh shit yeah 33 oh my god <laughs> oh my fuck i thought i rolled yeah, it. Yes. Oh, no no it's 33 that's 33 oh my fucking uh <laughs> of blood in my mouth as i almost bit my mouth. um mm. so yeah i trip her yep Trip Master 420? Just just uh, just just pull from the tail <laughs> with yeah, a giant uh, glitter hand. <laughs> uh Mero. So uh like we're leaving, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh Rin is like, get out of here. Also, you uh the cave system around you is starting to seem a little bit unstable. The majority of people are out, uh, but yet again, it's if you wait too much longer, there's a chance of a cave. Mm-hmm. Because a mountain has become a true. Can I actually, because I can fucking get out of here without any difficulty with my metric fucked in a speed, but I want to make sure everyone else gets out first in case I need to help them. Uh, can I hold my action until, like, because Serena's gone. Can I hold my action until, like, after them, potentially? So, you like, can't hold an action and delay your turn. That, yeah, right, that. Sorry, my words were wrong. I want to delay mm. my turn until after group. So everyone gets a chance to leave, and then if everyone successfully, I can just mm. wait. If everyone doesn't successfully leave, I can grab. Yeah, Karuna. and you. This yeah. essentially it means from now on you will go after group. Yeah, I'm done with that. Cool. Perfect. Okay. Uh, and it is Kratos. Uh, and Kratos is going to spend his first action to put himself over here. Stop. Uh, 
between you all. Uh, and he is essentially going to look at Serena, and Serena's like, yeah. And so Kratos is, is essentially going to attempt to pick you up, Estrella. <laughs> just go for well, it. Yeah. Well, Ruin right. the lesbianism that was going to happen next turn. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't know that. <laughs> He's a dumbass. He doesn't know what's going on. So, so first action, move over. Second action, pick you up. And then move back over here with you. And it, Ileana, it's your turn. Well, uh, we're all trying to get out of this. Yep. Run. The giant bootleg dragon and Rin can handle this probably. I'm literally just going to be like right behind Kratos booking it out as quickly. Mm-hmm. You can spend all three of your actions and move over into this tunnel, pretty much. That's the plan. That's yeah. the plan. Cool. Uh, and yeah, Demisa, it is now your turn. Okay. Um, Serena can only move normal person speed. Yep. I can currently move faster than that. So I'm going to go pick her up, I guess, and yep. try to get her further. Um. How far can you get? How what uh, carrying someone is that like half distance? Yeah, technically. So, I think technically that's how. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Pardon me, excuse me, coming through. <laughs> Squeeze between yeah, the dinosaur and the dragon. Uh, you know, I just love you. Dodge some teeth here. Dodge a tail there. Okay, mm-hmm. and then I'm gonna pick up Serena. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, picking up counts as a action. Yep, I'll say it's an action. Okay, and then we're gonna mosey over after Kratos and Estrella. Yeah, because I can get about as far as they are. Yeah. With half speed. This is my favorite carnival game. Somebody <laughs> please grab Groom, though. Uh, Groom should be near the... Did Groom move? Groom should be by the exit. Yeah, Groom should be able Groom, to... is by an exit. I dropped uh, Groom off there a long time ago, specifically for this reason. But are the exits reason. going the same way? That is the question. They eventually meet up, but they, they don't initially go the same. I'll, if you want to go in the off path, I will go with you. Because where Groon and Marrow are is where Aubrey told me the way out was. I don't know what this path yeah. is. This one, both of them yeah, there's are. There's two ways out. There's oh, okay. both of these. This one and that one are both ways out. They both initially go in different directions, but we'll eventually meet up at one point. So, yeah. right. so Groon is going for turn to Marrow and be like, you know what's cool about really big monsters? And for what? her first two actions, she's going to cast Fireball directly above the head of the dragon. Um, oh and God. I think 30 feet is the magic number to make it, like, exactly in his spot at, or something like that. I know it's possible. I don't. I haven't done the math. But she's going to aim it up high enough that only hits the big bad. Um, so that's a reflex. 45. Chibis has that is that is a save. Um okay, and then she's going to run um run away from the thing that just dodged a freaking fireball. It, it it's you know, as you're doing it, like the li- dino dinosaur Lila like pulls like the dragon forward, trying to like get the dragon off and uh, you know, just a bit misses the fireball. Angry groon it groon goblin yelling at Lila. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Marrow, it's now your turn. So I have so many fucking actions, but at this point I'm smart enough to just dip. Mm-hmm. Uh is it can I use an action to just info dump all the shit I learned of dragon onto the dinosaur or I'm sorry, the uh bootleg dragon and Rin? Like yeah. here's its stats that I know. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, that's a free action. Okay, I'm gonna lord I I can move so much fucking feet right now. I can like run a lap. You feet. can move so much feet. You're and welcome. I only have to move only a short distance with the. Mm. Uh, I'm just gonna fuck. You're welcome, babe. Thank you. you. Your speed. Yeah. You have so think glitter all over you though. That that is that is. That's the best that part. So as as Marrow moves into the tunnels and you all just start heading away, uh, you know we'll move out of initiative and. The next thing you feel is this giant rush of air comes through all of the tunnels. And then as you look back, uh, the dragon has alighted and is flying and essentially goes out through this crater that it is. Bitch. And you all just keep. So and she runs away. Groon. Groon. Yeah. Did you see a bunch of skull in? So yeah, you all, you all keep moving for probably about an hour or so before. 
the tunnels meet up again, and this seems to be a this is a giant crystal cavern. It's beautiful, um, and this seems to be where everybody's congregating for the moment. You see uh, groups of people, and then you see Atalanta, Kyria, and uh, and everyone else. And uh, Kyria essentially makes a beeline for you. She's like, oh, ah, thank God, just you got out of there. I was so worried. Uh, and the crystals, yeah, the crystals are. It's chill. Uh, and uh, you know, as Kyria, um, as Kyria pulls you into a bit of a hug, Astraea, she's like, "You're freezing. Somebody get a blanket." But I'm not, am I? You're not. <laughs> so as we take a moment to rest, uh, you would pan over and see Astraea sweating profusely and getting smaller and smaller except she's not sweating no her clothes her hair everything is melting to one growing pink i uh, was wondering how long it would take for any of you to notice and i'm impressed i should win a medal for this performance what a bad mother you are Kai. You never noticed you're big gone. And you, you're all such disappointing things. Hardly helpful and so very foolish. But I should really thank you, Tempest. I would have never found my daughter with all. <laughs> and Puddle. Yeah. Talk. That's, we zoom out to a different part. A city in the middle of snow all over the throne room. Familiar face, Talon. Astrea. That wasn't <laughs> your year. <laughs> True love, uh, you. True love, not too bad. My year. Uh, <laughs> Rage quits. <laughs> and that is where we will end season two. Wow, wow I question, hate you. Question about, I mean, we can't see this. The question mm. for the viewers, perhaps. Um, mm. This this kneeling Astrea, is it kneeling as in like prisoner kneeling, or is it kneeling as in ah my king, I'm here. I come to report. I mean how how would you say, Aki? How is she kneeling as in Vlagos? Um yeah. uh, and the fun fact is the the thing that uh, Aki and I recorded scene between her I'm and I'm so angry that <laughs> out of character I put the pieces together, but I was like, no. I can't do this in character because, like, I'm like, oh, would that be like? I was like, I'm pretty sure this is a fake Australia, but I can't do that because I'm like, the only reason I assume that because I know there was a post credit scene. And I'm like, because in game, I was like, damn, since when did you become such an asshole? I was like, I'm like, no, I can't, I can't, I couldn't do it. I was like, fuck, no. it's because I knew about the scene. And there was so much going on, there was like no time to be like, why are you acting weird? <laughs> I knew it. I called it, I mentioned it, but like, my dance with Aki, I was like, I swear to God, this is a fake experience. That's the vibe I <laughs> has get. It, has it only been the last two sessions? Yeah. yeah. I'm just... Okay, 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 okay. Um, it essentially um, happened right after the question, uh, which is in the episode that comes out this week. It, 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 it happened, it technically happened right after um, Duke Estrella her gift, so. <laughs> Aki, I am... know just how, where, how close you were. Uh... I, on one hand, I'm pissed at Aubrey. On the other hand, I'm very satisfied that I saw this because Aki, mm. you can vouch for me. I DM'd you this yeah, shit. You I was like, well, no, and then I screenshotted it to Aubrey. You DM, <laughs> you you pieced it together about mm -hmm. three or four days before we were gonna play. And I was like, what if I just distract you more JJ Caves? And that's what we did. <laughs> you didn't reply, so I was like, yeah, I knew it. I I mm. I, I just saw the distraction. Like that's it. Aki yeah. would always laugh at me if it was fake, but the real thing she ignores. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, we will talk a little more about this in our season two roundtable that will be released probably within a week of this episode, depending on when we can find time to sit down and be recorded. Um, and we'll just talk about the season, favorite moments, uh, and I definitely want to talk about uh, this. Can we just plan to do it next Sunday? Uh, no, because we're recording. Yeah, we're recording yeah. the other thing next Sunday, uh, and, and not everyone's going to be like, Ferris won't run I'd like everybody. Oh, but I'm going to beat the shit out of you, you're right. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I'll make it I, Thursday night because have you gone Thursday? And I love y'all, but no, I need. I mean, that's fair. Like we could, we have mm -hmm. about two weeks. Yeah, three technically, so we can find a time that works for people. And yeah, no. Um, it's uh, next week. You all will hear the one shot of Sundered Wade with uh, Dusty uh, and some new people. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. And then the week after, we will get into. 
Aki's campaign, which I'm very excited because uh, I get to take a break. Yeah, and then uh, in, in about a little, about a month, a month and a half, depending on how things go, maybe almost two, uh, we'll have an actual date once we know how long Aki's thing. But yeah, in about a month or so, we'll come back and uh, figure out what is next for the party. They are split. And uh, yeah, what, what happens to the party when Australia is not there? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Are you uh, going to play a new character? It's a possibility. I might uh, have to for a little bit, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I made the joke where it was like, Australia could also just play Atalanta or play Warmads. I might just play my dad. But no one died, which I'm actually really surprised at. I was trying. Uh, and also, yes. I thought this episode was going to be longer because I did not expect you to just look in the thing and be like, oh, Claude's dead. Never mind. We're not dumbasses, Brit. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we were ready to go in, except for fake Estrella. Yeah. I, I'm so, I knew, I am vindicated. I was like, because like in that moment, I was like, what I said, damn, since one used to ask, I was like, should I insight check? Because I have character, I'm like 93 juror, but I don't want it to be me. I didn't want it to be like, because I know there was a post press scene. I know I should be this, but I was like, maybe it's just the tension. It Mero was a fuck. I'm so angry. I'm so pissed. But at least... <laughs> Are we uh, level yeah, eight? No, when we, we go into season oh. you, didn't, you didn't really get to do much as level seven. But hey. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I thought I'd because I know <laughs> I know you said we would technically start it. Oh, shit, I have to make sure I have I know I have like a whole month and but I have to make and, sure. And we'll, yeah. we'll we'll also be we'll also get some Australia's up to you and some stuff about uh vloggers. So yeah. Um but yes, before we get too distracted again, let's make sure we say the thing and remember our giveaway will go on for a little bit longer and yeah. Eat your vegetables or else Australia will betray you too. Uh-huh. <laughs> you think it's betrayal? I can't wait till you guys hear it. I feel like it's brainwashing. I'm not sure though. I- Passengers, remain calm and please stay in your seats. We are experiencing pirate activity. Oh, there's just some, um, something happening. Um, what? Them. Um, <coughs> them. Oh, no. <laughs> At the outer edges of space, where union is but a whisper, humanity scrapes together a living amongst the stars. This is the story of four Lancers, talented pilots of mechanized chassis from all corners of the known universe, thrown together by circumstance and destiny, and credits. Follow Macha. Oh, were we supposed to know each other beforehand? I mean, we're all gonna die, but I'm glad you figured that out now. Moxie. Well, I have absolutely no idea what you necessarily need me to do here, but if it's kill a bitch or fix a bitch, I can do both very well. You're worth one week of no chores, and you know what? I really need that week. Roadkill? I'll take in the front, those two are taking the back, one of them's going through the booty hole, and let's go. I kinda need your help. Fuck you, fuck you. And Silver? Here's like, a little bit of money, please go away. The ghost of your mistakes. Led by me, Reed, your game master, through the Lancer system, a mud and laser style anime mecha RPG. I hope they brought some printers with them, because this is Bring Your Own Mech, an actual play Lancer podcast, and batteries are not included. Catch our first episode starting on July 29th, wherever you catch your podcasts, and then every other Thursday. Follow my heading, and I'll see you there. Heidi ho there, teenagers. Except, I don't say that anymore. No, now I greet you like a normal human being, because now we're changing up the format. Instead of spending each episode with Ark, Sam, Jack, and Eden, here on The Game is Afoot, we're going to spend each episode with a new player and a new character. 
The first episode of every month is going to be a game between myself, Ryan, and the new player. Mads, my love. (laughs) I'm back, baby. (laughs) Back for more. And I use they, them, or if you would like, he, him. So my name is Zoe. Uh, My pronouns are she, her. That releases on the first Sunday of every month. And then the second episode is going to be an interview with that person. I will say... The first thing that I knew was that I wanted to play a ranger. To anyone (laughs) is amazing. But it it's not something I've witnessed before. Why am I getting emotional? Oh why am I crying? (laughs) It's okay. (laughs) I know. Releasing on the third Sunday of every month. Stick around for the rest of your show, and I hope we see you soon. Bye! Be gay. Roll dice. An LGBTQIA actual play podcast network.